What's up, everybody? It's Opie Anthony, Jim Norton. It's Louis C.K. in studio. Hey, fellas. I had to apologize. He was waiting a long time in the green room, but we went off on a little a little tear about this Van Halen reunion. You know what's going to be awful about the new song, too? They're going to put lines from the old songs in it. Like, uh, we're back, and we're still running with the devil. They'll like, throw a line like... <laughs> oh, don't. Like a will, clip though. show? Like a flashback clip show? Yeah, yeah a musical clip yeah. show. Yeah. Ugh. It's embarrassing just to think of that. Yeah. And he can't jump like he used to, but he's making fun of all the other bands that come back and are Dude, a bit older. He can't sing. He can't sing. He can't, he can't sing. jump. He talks his way through songs. He was insane when he was doing his radio show. We've heard the stories. Yeah. Palm trees in the hallways. He wanted to like uh, decorate to get a to get a cool vibe. It's always about the vibe. Yeah. Everything's about the vibe. No, I'm not feeling the vibe. The vibe. To a radio show. How about this? The listeners weren't feeling your show. Yeah, they weren't feeling the vibe coming out of the speakers. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't know if Al's gonna dump this, but David Lee Roth was a horse's patoot. Wow, uh, easy. No one's gonna hear that. That's, Jeez, hey, that yeah. was vulgar. <laughs> World's oldest woman died. Uh, and, yeah. you know, this happens. Yeah, whatever. It was during a home invasion. <laughs> she was struck in the chin with a wrench for making a racial slur. <laughs> Does that mean that... They were perfectly acceptable when she was a kid. Absolutely. It was a term of affection <laughs> when you needed so, some, some bread out of the out of the oven. <laughs> <laughs> the world's oldest vagina is in the ground now. <laughs> wow. Basically. I didn't even think of that. Ah, Louie! You hang oh. on this world's... The oldest world. thing. The oh, very wow. Oldest, most disgusting, <laughs> depressing. Oh, man. I would love to know what that looks like. After oh, man. No. Years. Imagine. No, you don't. It should have been her last act to just show everybody. <laughs> Here's what <laughs> Here it is. the ravages Here. of time does to the most beautiful thing on earth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she opens her lips. Looks like an old Mexican cave. Uh, <laughs> an old Mexican. <laughs> I'll tell you what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like. Barbara Bush frowning. <laughs> just, hey, now, now, we, uh, now we can start the looks like bit. Mm -hmm. Ah, we just started. It looks it's like, like a dried Turkish looks like apricot. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I don't think we can start the looks like bit. No, I know. Now that we've said what it was. I know. Here we go. She's. <laughs> she's. Uh, I know the rules. She died at 114 years old. She's from. Uh, oh boy, who wants the uh, who wants to attempt the town? Um, because it, it's it, Chicago. It's uh, it's over there in Japan. Uh, oh, she's in Japan. You know, over there, the hand can be used like a knife. So on a TV once. That's right. <laughs> All right. Uh, a knife that's really dull and has a fleshy cheap <laughs> edge to it. How about we do this? We spell out the town, and then uh, the people can play along at home. Okay. Okay. The, t the town is this. F-U-K. <laughs> right. Jeez. They love having fun with that. Is that the only name? That's the name of the town? F-U-K-U-O-K-A. Fuck you, okay? <laughs> uh, I don't think that's it. I think I just said what you spelled. I, 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 boy, I don't think that's it. Um, Let's just go with Fukuka. 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 Yon Minagawa, who had been certified by Britain's Guinness World Records as the world's oldest person at age 114 earlier this year, died of old age Monday evening. 114. Hope she died of old age. How funny would that be if her grandson got crazy and drop kicked her down the stairs <laughs> practicing his kung fu? <laughs> like she was healthy as a mule. She was carrying churned butter in a bucket up, up, up steps. And her grandson got randy and just <laughs> drop kicked her. She was, she had another 30 years in her. <laughs> another easy. She was doing awesome. She was butter churning. She was still active uh, sexually. She was making her yogurt meal. A yogurt yeah. meal. Oh, She's a toothless. Whenever they have yogurt. Those old people always say like, those hundreds of years old people are like, oh, she actually met Napoleon. There's always something like that. Yeah, well, yeah. Like, weren't there any old people that didn't meet any Napoleon or anybody? No, yeah, just kind of lived their life, and that yeah. was it. But here's the deal. 114 years old, yeah, whatever. But then you have to go back to the year she was born, 1893. 1893. So what is she? What was around in That's 1893? That's a lot of stuff. Nah, not much. Grover was, Cleveland was president. Oh, Grover? And then after him was McKinley, and McKinley got shot in his stupid fat face. And then, um, Roosevelt? and then Roosevelt, then Teddy Roosevelt. So she was, th how about, she was born three presidents before, two presidents before Teddy Roosevelt. How about this? Uh, Thomas Edison finishes, uh, construction of the first, 
first motion picture studio. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to look at some... Receives two U.S. patents. The first one for a cutout of for incandescent electric lamps. Oh, by the way, she was born when the president was Benjamin Harrison. Oh, really? I it was the end of oh. his, his reign. Wow. And, and then he was succeeded, obviously, by uh, Grover Cleveland. I think it's funny that you say you succeeded, obviously. Like, we yes, all knew this. Oh, like yes, that logically, me. that would be nice. Obviously. You could have said he was succeeded by Lyndon Johnson, and I would have said, mm, oh, okay. Sure. It's just an opportunity to look smart. <laughs> okay. And like, wow, they know a lot about their presidents. Mm. It's amazing anybody lived to be old in 18... Because back then, they, they knew nothing about health. No. Everybody no. smoked. They thought cancer was a delicacy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Idiots. No, the guy who uh, delivered her, the doctor, was wearing a tie and a belt and, you know... <laughs> Dude... Was, are you ready for this? Hmm. Back in 1893, this is how old this broad was. The United States legally declares the tomato to be a vegetable. <laughs> That's yes, <laughs> go. I what? legally declare. What was it before that? That it, it was a human being. <laughs> <laughs> well, well it's wow. an animal because it could be considered a fruit because it has seeds. Yeah. Ah. So they had an argument still debated that for a while. to this day. Mm, that's right. Yes. Thank God they were. Uh, Worrying about that. How about the first car number plates? Oh, yeah? The first license plates. First license plates. You used to just be able to drive around. And, uh, and a very happy birthday what? on that day. What? To Herman Goering. Oh, Goering was... Goering was born uh, that on, that, on that year. In that year. That's of great. course, he uh, perished in 1946. <laughs> 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 Along with uh, Alfred uh, Rosenberg, also a Nazi official, yes. who also... Somehow died in 1946. Oh, Jimmy Durante was born the same year as of this old broad, and he ended up dying in 1980. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. It was awful. We have uh, by else the way, now? the uh, tomato only had, uh, what is that, uh, seven fifths or three fifths? Three fifths of the vote before that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Who was against it? <laughs> Is that it? That's Teasing, all the stuff of course. we got on 1893? <laughs> the dissenting. Oh, what are you opinion? kidding? She freaking uh, was born, she was in, born a, in a dull year. A dull uh, year. There wasn't much going on. No, I'm just a, looking at uh, who else was born. What about deaths? Who died then? Like, when, were the, when the hell were they born? Anyone from 1700? Wait, who died in 1893 on that? Uh, a British entomologist by the name of John uh, Westwood yeah. uh, was born in 1805. Yeah. And he uh, died... In uh, 18, uh, whatever the hell that was. In 88, they lived to be old back then. Yeah, what was going on? Well, well, the well, average. She's in Japan, in a small town of Japan. How much even changes there? Like, True. it's just been the same. Yeah. Stupid street. She's walked around in the wooden she's shoes. Walked and around in the stupid same thing. Little ding 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 ding. <laughs> yeah. Those Bingo block around. shoes, those things That's with the little wooden. Uh, Strip yeah. molding on yeah. the bottom. It's, it's not like she has though. a skyscraper in a Walmart in her town. Yeah. Uh, let's say hi to John in Rochester. John, what's up? Hey guys. Hey. Today. What's up, buddy? Uh, Fukuoka is the name of that uh, that city in uh, in, in Japan. Fukuoka. Yeah. yeah. Fukuoka. Cool. What happens yeah. in that town? Uh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I was working, so. All right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> also dying in the, that year uh, was a PGT Beauregard. He was an American Confederate general. <laughs> wow. So she was born the year a Confederate general died. All right, let's go to um, um, Paul on Long Island. Paul. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. I think you kind of missed the point. She also survived two nuclear bombs being dropped around that tiny village. All right. Yeah, well, there's something to be said. Well, so then we didn't hurt him that bad. Yeah, that radiation might have helped her out. Why, how close is uh, her, her place to uh, Nagasaki or Hiroshima? I don't know where it's like. I think it's far, but she would vacation there every year after it happened. Her and she her had one, cousins in Nagasaki. Her and her one see. wispy hair all of a sudden got yeah. healthy. <laughs> she had one tooth and one hair, but she was always smiling and laughing. So <laughs> that lady's been. Okay, 14 years ago was. I'm, I'm bad at math. That was what year? 97? Yeah. Yeah. Or 93? That's 10 years ago. 93. 93, 93, sure. 93 was 10 years ago. No, 97. Uh, no. 14 years ago was 93. 93. Yeah. That goes yeah. beyond bad at math. <laughs> I know, I know. Hey, we're well, I guess what I'm trying to get at is that she has been really old since, like, the 60s. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I mean, she's been, like, a really, really old a really old lady. All right, well, that's before, something. Before there were the Beatles, she was an old Japanese <laughs> she lady. She was already really old. A smelly old woman <laughs> with a completely worthless vagina. <laughs> she was muggable. That's how long it's been. 
She was muggable before black people could vote in this country. <laughs> wow. That amazing? That's how long she's been attackable. <laughs> Damn. Uh, it's nowhere near any of the uh, no the big cities, right? See. Well, I just want to go on record. I don't know who this lady was, what her name was, but I'm glad she's dead. I don't know her. I don't I know really what she am. does. All right. I hope that she comes back to life and dies again. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if she was a hooker <laughs> until three years ago? <laughs> and she just quicker she got bored. <laughs> Like she was, like she was for some reason the most popular hooker in she that town. <laughs> Guys would go to her like on the bachelor parties as a goof. Yeah, what does she do for her life? Everyone she knows has to be dead. Like there can't be one person that yeah. she was friends with or family or anything. Unless she's got a, there's a bunch of teenagers she hangs out with, like the old guy in the beach <laughs> movies, the Frankie. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like you know, like creepy, creepy old guy in yeah. the movies. Or there's creepy. Ancient woman, yeah, trying to be young and hip. Hey, what are you guys doing here? And they all go, "Hey, grandma." Yeah, play a song. Her son could be ninety. That's she, right. She could tell her son to shut up and watch your language, and he's ah, 90. She 90. years old. Her, her, her like son could yeah. be a hundred years old. <laughs> They're dead. Technically, yeah. They're dead. They're she's all dead. Be. Everybody. All right, let's dead. move on. We haven't. That's enough. She of the, stinks. The old lady. Yeah, she stinks, and she's dead. Goodbye. Uh, Mori phobias. <laughs> we got to get back to this. We started this last week. Uh, Maury's coming in tomorrow, so we really should play this today. Get everyone all uh, riled up for tomorrow's visit. Who's Maury? Maury does these phobia shows there, Louie. Oh, Maury Christ. Povich? Maury yeah, yeah, yeah. Povich. And, yes. it's, and it's hilarious because he gets really, really deranged and into it. And he thinks he could cure like someone's phobia in a 10-minute segment. By completely scaring the crap out of them with what they're afraid of. Right. There's no there's no the like idea. therapist's way of no. slowly getting you into something and and baby steps or nothing. No. He will immerse you in what you are afraid of and just scare the crap out of people and then laugh as they go, "Look at her. Look at her." Yeah. Look at her. No, why is she doing that? How about we <laughs> let, let's Christ. hold on. Oh, Maury. He's an animal. So he's coming here tomorrow? Yeah. All right, here. Like, this one we played last week just to, to bring you up to speed, though. So there was this lady, Andrea. She was afraid of birds, told uh, this story while the, she was convinced the birds were following her and pooping on her mm -hmm. all the time. They were after her funnel cake, blah, blah, blah. Tells the whole story. And now it's time for Maury to attempt to um, uh, cure her phobia. And she's crying as she's telling these stories. Right. She's like, yeah. and I went to the mall and the birds came out. Mm -hmm. Like, just talking about it had her in a tizzy. And right. so, so Maury decides he knows how to cure her. And, uh -huh. and the cure is to bring out lots of birds. Birds. And have her face her fear. We have to face your fears. We have to have you face your fears, Andrea. Oh, and let's have dramatic music too. Yeah. That'll help her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second, Andrea. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do what I knew you would do. See, she's afraid of birds. Doesn't matter if there's one or a thousand. Oh, but also his, the it makes no. He's not. <laughs> he's not like going. Yes, face it. This is a face bird. It. He's going. What's the matter? Hey, what's hey, the problem? What are, you, what are you crazy? You just told it's me just through your bird. tears what your problem was, and now I bring one out I and you're you crying. Like, I thought you liked the bird. <laughs> and there's no help whatsoever See, I going on here. Stand. I thought you liked birds. Was the point? It's of the not story. stand here. Look, no. we're gonna. I, I want you to be prepared for this. Yeah. We're gonna bring a bird out on the other end of the stage. No, 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 no. Calm down. Yeah. <laughs> he's not gonna. He's gonna be in a cage way over there. I just want you to look at him. Yeah. Now, we're here with you. Everyone's we supporting you. We know you're afraid. It's we understand to feel that. Afraid. No. He's like. Where is he? What is bring out a bird? Bring out the What's bird. What's the matter with you? <laughs> it's just a bird. Why are you crying? You dummy! It's a bird. He's this close it's to tying her down. on her head. <laughs> He's this close to tying her to a chair. <laughs> oh, face your fear. Face it. Face it. You think she's getting out? You think she's acting now? I don't think so. Wait a second. He's chastising the audience. Andrea, Andrea, stand up. Stand up. It's going to be all right. I'm going to take him away. I'm going to take him away. Stand up. That's not going to happen. You don't even want to look at it. It's hyperventilating. Uh, stand, up, stand up here. We're going to take him away. They're gone. They're gone. Stand up here. Oh, God. 
Right. Oh, awesome. Bob Kelly? <laughs> we'll be back right after this. Yeah. He sounds let's, so happy. Let's pay some bills. <laughs> you can, we'll be back right after job this. Job accomplished. Yeah. Job accomplished. The, you can hear the grin in his voice. He loves we'll it. We'll be back right after like, this. There right goes my this. ratings. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We accomplished what we wanted. Oh, God. Now it's time to pay some bills. Look at the bird. Go on, look at it. Uh, do we have time to play Cotton Man before we go oh, to break? Oh, please, Cotton Man. And then after the break, we got April, who's afraid of frogs, and then we got Victoria, who's afraid of lizards. Give a little of the Cotton uh, Cotton Man. Yeah, so there's another lady scared of cotton balls. She hates the sound of it. <laughs> and uh, and I kind of understand that. You ever pull cotton apart and it goes like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> makes a slight, weird textured sound to it. But uh, this that, woman says she hates that and hates cotton. She, she's well, sc scared crap. And it, it goes back to her being a kid where she had nightmares of a cotton ball man who tried to kill her by shoving cotton balls in her mouth. Cotton balls in her mouth. Really? There's something else going on there. Oh, of course there yeah. is. So fat, pale uncle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. So, so it was time to... Um, Cottony soft. <laughs> we're boxer briefs. <laughs> it was time to cure her phobia. So what does Maury do? He brings out a guy completely covered in cotton balls. In cotton. And then, it's like then, a Letterman <laughs> bit or something. Right, yeah, right, right. Yeah. And then the cotton ball man, here's a picture. It's up on uh, oh YouTube. God. Looks like uh, a porno movie. Yeah. He uh, <laughs> he starts chasing her around the stage. <laughs> look at this. He this chases guy. her around yeah, the stage. That's guy. scary enough if it, if you're not afraid of that cotton. That would be a yeah. great creature for a movie. It looks like the mummy. The cotton man. The yeah. cotton man. And look at her big fat. They, they scare her, you away from eating. They light her dramatically so she'll... Yeah, from underneath, yeah. a lot of bright light. That'd All be right. a great horror movie. Cotton ball man. He's defeated by a dryer. <laughs> the I lint filter got him. You, you upset at those? Yeah. And here... Yeah, happens. tell me about this. They're, 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 they're making that noise. What noise? They're, they're just cotton making the noise. doesn't make a noise. It does. See, again, he's like pretending this. Yeah. Yeah, Are you nuts? Wait, wait. Oh... Carol, don't go back there. You're going to see more cotton no. than you want to no. see. Don't go back there. No. No. There's a lot of cotton back there. Carolyn, come here. He's laughing at her. This is one. Oh, God. I love Maury. Oh. Oh my God! Uh, somebody who works for the show, I can't. Stop it. He's laughing. <laughs> He's laughing at her. He's laughing at her. He's laughing at her back. Bring it back. Move, move back, guys. Move back. Move back. Move back. Okay, we got it. We got it. All right. All right. We got it. He okay, says. Got it. Yeah, we got, we got it. it. We got, we got it. it. All right, we one for it. safety. Chase her again. <laughs> yeah, we, we got, got it. it. We got the shot we needed. We got. We got it. He said. Right. We got the fat, scared lady crying. <laughs> A fat god. pig running from a man with cotton balls. <laughs> oh my god! How do you not we love Maury? Got it. Oh. We got the money shot. God damn Maury! Oh, he's the Hitler of whatever he, he does. You know something though? He never fails to come up with stuff no, to keep no. him his well, show rolling. Yep. Well, after the break, we got a lady that's afraid of frogs and lizards. Mm -hmm. this, I think two more right. ladies to go. That the he was probably about to get canceled. They brought him in and said, "Look, this show is just no good." And he yeah. went, "Wait, look what I got coming." I got they ideas. Him the cotton man and they went, "All right." All right, another week. You give me another week. Break out the real idea. I got ideas. All right. Hey, uh and for Al down the hall when he does his show rundown 923krock.com, go to the Opie and Anthony section. Make sure you include these videos for everybody because it's hilarious. The cotton uh, cotton ball man chasing her is a great yeah, video. Yeah, and it's, it, they taped it like a horror movie, too. Yeah, yeah. Louie, anything we're promoting? I'm all over the road. I got a tour called Shoot Up, and it's on MySpace. Ooh. Louis C.K. on MySpace? Um, yeah. For all the tour dates? All the tour dates. I'm all over the country. That Ooh. makes it very easy. It's Opie and Anthony. Car Crash Comedy is coming back to the Opie and Anthony Show. Friday, August 17th in Washington, D.C. I'm more nervous than Governor McGreevy at a rest stop. Oh, no. If you think you're funny, you're invited to put your comedy stylings on display for an esteemed panel of judges and a live studio audience. All right, and remember the rules of the game are you get uh, two minutes, and if you get car crashed three times, you have to stop because you stink. Or, uh... <laughs> Email Sam at FoundryMusic.com. Because Sam thinks he's funny. And who better to judge an unfunny person like yourself than someone who thinks he's funny? Just hit the streets of all, please. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Louis C.K. in studio today. Yeah. We're in the middle of uh, talking about Maury. 
in uh, one of his phobia shows. Maury. The videos are just great. Make sure you check them out. Why are you Search running? Come here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I can't wait to talk to him tomorrow about the oh, thing. Oh, how he just scares the bejesus out of people and and laughs at them. And who does he think he is that he could like uh, like you know cure someone's phobia in ten minutes before a commercial break? I don't think Doesn't he it? thinks he's curing no. anybody. That's true, but, <laughs> no. but we got to call I'm out him out on a limb here. But we got to call him out on it tomorrow. Definitely. But every yeah. time we call out Maury, when he co- he loves our show, by the way, mm-hmm. we try to call him out, and he's like, "Yeah, I do that for real." <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. not Why trying not? to. He's not trying to fake anything. We think is. Nobody's gonna care because well, who is he hurting? Yeah. Some fat lady who's afraid of cotton. <laughs> Nobody cares. You think people there care is... about that fat lady that's afraid of cotton? No. They're gonna write in and be like, nah. it's despicable. No, I have a fear of cotton. No, Al Sharpton would be like, well, you know, what's her problem? Yeah, <laughs> Maury, Maury is safe that until they get. Bitch. A, Maury is safe until they get a special interest group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, you know, but he picks things that are like frogs. Frogs. G. Gordon Liddy did that, you know, when he was a kid. I read his autobiography years ago. Yeah. When he was a kid, he was afraid of thunderstorms and rats. So he caught a rat and he ate it. And he lashed himself to a tree during a thunderstorm. When he was like... Eight, ten years that old. That sounds like a Liddy thing. When he was a child. <laughs> did it work? Yeah. He turned said he wasn't afraid of either anymore. Psychopath is what it did. Yeah, it turned him into a nation-ruining psychopath. A lunatic he yeah. needed to be. Yeah. Turned him into a professional assassin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he sees lots of rats now. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's he'll never fess up to it, though. Through, no. There's no statute of limitations on murder, he says. Was he an assassin? So he'll never, he'll never oh, say. He won't tell you. He won't, he won't tell say. if he's killed anybody. We had him on the show that day. and We asked him, but he says, he goes, there's no statute statute of limitations on, on murder, so I will never answer that question. And he brought in his... Which is pretty much a yes. He yeah. brought in his son, and his son looked like he's done some, some things yeah, his in son. his young life. Yeah. In the uh, military. Mm. Passing the old family torch. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Just... Creeps. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, here's uh, April. She's afraid of frogs. I cannot stand frogs. <laughs> frogs make my skin crawl. <laughs> I cannot stand frog skin. They're slimy. <laughs> slimy. They're ugly. <laughs> their eyes bulge out. Their tongues are broke. They're... <laughs> when I was real little, my brother used to put frogs down my pants. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> oh, I hate them. Mm. One frog ah! at my house, looking at me, is jumping at me, is gonna kill me. It's gonna no kill you. Me. No more, just good. I don't want to talk about it no more. <laughs> Why is that bother you? Why is that bother you? Why is that bother you? Why? <laughs> a weird approach. They're gonna get me. They're what? They're gonna get me. They're this big. I don't care. There's like millions of them coming at me and eating me. Just chasing me. Wow. She's on acid. Yeah. That's, uh. Millions of them. She didn't sound real either. Yeah, she didn't sound too real. She came up with, uh, like, wacky ideas. You know, the, the producers are all in the back. She's like, come up with, like, things that you think yeah. the frogs will do to you. Yeah. Like, yeah. What, they, they, they must have asked her first, like, what do you think they'll do to you? I don't know. I just don't like them. I'm just not crazy I'm about not frogs. I'm not crazy about They They, they kind of look funny. Yeah, that's... That's not we need make it. we need a little more. So yeah. let, let's. Are you afraid that they're gonna gonna bite you? Mm. And then they nod. Please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, they're gonna bite yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what if what if a whole bunch came at you? That oh yeah yeah. I'm okay. afraid a lot Millions are gonna attack me. Yeah. And she didn't sell it at all. No, we she should, sounded fake. We should find out Maury's phobia. <laughs> For tomorrow. Yeah, obviously, low ratings. <laughs> he will do anything to keep from getting those. <laughs> Or you're another canceled. paternity ah, show. What's ah, the matter? You're canceled. Yeah, it's ah, nothing. Come just on. Face him around with the Wait, memo. You gotta face his, his phobia. Ah. Grab this memo. No. <laughs> his phobia is natural graying of hair. Yes. Yeah. The natural graying of hair. He's we'll still dying. Look, we'll hair. have to look tomorrow and see if he's dying. Non homogeny in his All hair. Right. <laughs> so Maury has to bring out lots of frogs because that's how you cure this type yes, of thing. Yes. Dr. Maury. But he, we have to confront your fear. You know that. Yes. So I'm going to bring some frogs out here. All right. Now I want you to see these frogs. Now I want you to see these frogs. Come on. Wait a second, April. Wait. 
Wait, wait a second. Wait, wait a second. Just stay, stay right there. Okay, all right. I, I, I think I got this. I got the picture. I got the picture. Yeah. Totally. Crazy. I'm not laughing at you. <laughs> I'm laughing with you. Boy, that scared me. Take the frog away. Please take the frog. Get away. She'll go over the banister. She'll go right over the banister. Dave, you better be back there. She jumped up. Okay, stop it. All right, take it back. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, okay? He's trying to get her to. He, she'll go over the banister. Go over the banister. Yeah, please yeah. fall over the Would banister. Would you go over the banister? What, we went over this. Can you improv with me here? <laughs> I'm saying don't do it, but I want you to fly over that Moron. banister and crash to the ground. Yeah. How crazy he gets paralyzed over a frog. On, John, on more we show. don't want her to fall over the banister. <laughs> we couldn't have that and show her underwear. Pull the trap door. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing exactly what you'd want to do. Like when you hear about a lady who's afraid of frogs, what you think of is I'd love to throw frogs on that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's it. These people are not sympathetic people. <clears throat> no. He, you he, don't look at them and go, oh, the poor woman. You're laughing at them. And he's no. not faking it, really, because he's laughing along thinking, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Come on. Look at her run. This can't be real. <laughs> this is a war. We have time to meet uh, Victoria before you leave this side of the show? Yeah, what do we got? Lizards. Hmm. Listen how Sounds lizards like are frogs. affecting Victoria's life. Every single night I wake up in a cold sweat because I know that this is not coming from me and crawling up in my bed. And they're going to crawl up in my ears and over my body and it just it terrifies me. <laughs> lizards pick on me. It's just like they just come after me when I see a lizard. <laughs> I run and I run. One day, it's a bad script. She runs and hides. <laughs> when I, I see a lizard, I run and uh, I hide. Run. Now we're back in. The last one, uh, April was, uh, yeah, I don't I, like her. I, I'm believing Victoria. I like yeah. when they're Cause, really. Cause they also find dummies. Lizards out there. pick on me. They pick on me. I run and I hide. I, I, I like this because she's freaking out before even seeing anything. Just thinking about it has oh, got her yeah. like crying. and oh, So yeah. she'll put on a good I show. I don't care if she's fake. She's yeah, still, I don't care. She's still entertaining. Yeah. Uh, Mario would be great if someone was afraid of being sexually assaulted. He had three guys with ski masks <laughs> chasing her. With What's the matter? Out. Just rape. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> rape a phobe. One day, I was about to bathe my daughter, and a lizard came out of the drain, and I took off running. I had to call the police. I took off so quickly to kill a lizard. I've had to move three times because I know the lizards are coming to get me. I know they won't leave me alone. She had to move three times. <laughs> Why don't you move to New York? I was going to say, yeah. start moving north. I've never seen a lizard in New York. Mm. Uh, maybe it's a nice store or something. Hmm? She's not a Diamondback. <laughs> Up on the, yeah, in the pet store. Yeah, she's ch just moving from one town in Florida to the, in yeah. Opie's na neighborhood, walking a poodle. <laughs> the old women. Imagine if you were afraid of turtles. They look like lizards. Oh, 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 jeez. Turtles. If you're afraid of turtles and you saw Voss's hands coming at you. <laughs> oh, I that bombed. No, that's well, any Voss turtle hand reference is good. Official endeavor. Yeah. Uh, she feels the lizards just won't leave her alone. You have added to your own problems. What state do you live in? Appaloosa, Louisiana. Louisiana. Is she just moving all over Louisiana? She's moving all she's, over the south. She's going to be uh, away yeah. from the lizards? No. Go to Alaska. There. Yeah, no lizards there. If one lizard there, it dies. <laughs> it's not the wrong right state for lizards. But you got to cure this phobia of lizards. Ah. Yeah. yeah, I need to because I'm tired of living We're like this. We're not talking about this. We're talking about little things. Oh, boy, here we go. They're harmless little things. No, they're not harmless. Really? What do they do? They they pick with me. They, what do you mean, pick with me? They just pop up and keep picking with me. They won't leave me alone. You think they argue they, with you or something? What, what's going they, on? I, I take my windows. I nail my windows shut. Yeah. I put wood on the bottom of my doors, and they still get in my get house. In house. Now, how did this all start? Do we know? I, when I was a child, I guess people would play with them and break their tails, and the tails would grow back. And it's, that's just terrifying. Lizards are like, that's terrifying. Lady, that's, yeah. that's what we're supposed to do. And if the lizard is still getting uh, in our house, she probably should have done better at school. Cause, yeah. uh, <laughs> running into what the kind of house? Door. Is, yeah, what kind of house are you living in? Yeah. 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 
All right, well, here it is. Maury brings out a four-foot iguana <laughs> and then wow. to help, in parentheses, Victoria yeah. with her feet. Wow. Yeah, it can't be just be a small lizard be, as far as no. it's got to be this giant iguana. Yeah, it can't be baby steps. He's he, he just spent the summer cloning a real dinosaur. Yeah. To, really yeah. Get yeah. The right, <laughs> to get the right reaction here. I'm bring out a lizard. Bring out a lizard. Here comes the music. That's a big lizard. Wait a second. No, 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 no. Again, video... again, he's blown away by the response. Well, wait a second. What? Right. Oh, my gosh. He's upset. No, 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 no. The video is great. And like I said earlier, Al Dukes will probably, like, you know, uh, link all these. Yeah. But the guy with the lizard is dramatically walking slowly toward her. Yeah. And the more she screams, he just continues walking toward her. Guiding her iguana. toward the rug that's covering the lizard pit. <laughs> right. What's <laughs> the matter? Don't go over there. It's a lizard pit. No, 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 no. Victoria, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. This bastard, Maury, now that I look at the video closer, so one guy comes in from the left with a huge iguana. Mm -hmm. She runs the other way. Guess what's waiting for her over there? Another <laughs> yep. guy with an iguana walking toward her. Yep. Gonna be all right. Stay back here. Don't get any closer. Don't get any closer, please. Stay right there. Okay, okay. I'll, 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 I
What's happening, Iraq? Who are you Iraq. calling besides not crunch? What? what? <laughs> I'm in touch with Mars. Mars. Oh, it's too ah, far away. The planet. Yes. Why don't you call Uranus? It's more appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to call Mars on his phone. Oh, and there you got Steve over there on another cell phone. Yes. What's happening? Hello. I don't know. I'm, I'm calling Iraq, but it's busy. Yes, I'm not. And we got a Q of the D waiting, and we got uh, a comic oh. with cancer. We got lots of polarity to calling together. each other. <laughs> Charles. What's going no, on, Charles. Guys? We tried the other phone. What's Maybe Charles on? is just a I'm, dope. Maybe uh, Charles is an ass. Maybe Charles' phone doesn't work. Hi, who's this? Any person? Hello? Hi, uh, who's this? Must be Charles Good again. Time. Hi, who's this? Maybe they're with Charles. All right, well, we're going to get your Q of the D in a, in a few minutes. I always hated oh, Charles phone. in charge. Oh. He's a name for a show. He was in mm. charge. In charge of being a faggot cunt face. <laughs> See that this is what happens, XM. You get us just saying cunt a lot. Of <laughs> yeah, that's our phones. See, this see this what, what you get. See, well, we this don't is what get you get. Our phones. That's what you get. That's what you would do if you didn't cunt. have your Blackberry. Yeah, you lose your Blackberry or the, uh, the little Bluetooth things. They'd yeah. all just be walking around the office going cunt. cunt. Can I well, say that? Or we'll just say, or we'll just say, space shuttle endeavor Eight over is. and over again. We're also waiting for a video to come in. We'll play the uh, audio portion. But Louis C.K. is a huge YouTube star, ladies yes, and gentlemen. Um, yes, and many YouTube clips now. Uh, and everyone's telling us we got to play the Catholic uh, Church video. That's a favorite. I got the uh, treat. I got the special treat of seeing that. That's when, right. Uh, I showed Louis it to you right Show me on, on the laptop. It. Yeah, yep. and uh, it's hysterical. It. Jesus, you go with some sick shit. Well, I saw one the other day. I'm just fucking around on on YouTube, and I don't even know how I get to certain places. You know, mm -hmm. you just kind of you you're on a road, and you don't yeah. know where you're going. You just you go, you watch one video, and then there's something in the sample window, and you go, hey, right. let me see that. Right. And you go in a whole nother direction. Well, I ended up on one of yours, and uh, it's it's you stealing a child's ice cream and running into a helicopter. Yeah, and the helicopter takes off. <laughs> and helicopter takes. Yeah. How did you get permission to even do something that dangerous? Well, it was. Uh, we were using the helicopter for something else. Oh, okay. And so I had this idea, right before we take off, can I get this kid and I steal his ice cream and then jump in the helicopter and have it take off? The thing is, it took it took off before you were really before secured in, in there. It. Well, that's what uh, yeah. the, the guy gave me a tutorial of how to get in the door and close it. The like, cool get in oh, yeah. Yeah. as like I'm taking off. Like an action figure. Yeah. Well, you know, nice. you know, you know how the, du the yep. dudes give you the, you know, a safety thing. You have to get in, you have to pull the latch 15 different ways and close it and yep. then strap in before I take off, I have to see you strapped in and I need to see a do closed door. Yeah. I gave him in a very authoritative voice. That's what I need to see. I do not lift off. The sleds do not leave the ground until you are in and the door is shut. And I said, it would look a lot cooler if you would take off the instant I'm um, even near the helicopter. <laughs> yeah. And he said, all right, we'll do that. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. That's cool. And I thought, the thing is, that I was thinking like a guy shooting a comedy video. I wasn't thinking like the dude who has to do it, because I don't like heights. I don't like... Well, I'm you picked a, a great I'm gag. I'm a courageous dude. And so it didn't hit me until I'm actually, I had a foot on the sled of the thing, and one foot in, and he starts taking off. And I was terrified. Dude, that's what <laughs> got me. Like, the bit, the bit itself is funny. I'm watching yeah. it. It's funny. Louis comes out. There's a kid eating ice cream. Yeah. Louis, there's no real uh, dialogue between no, you two. Just it's music. just you yeah. kind of music. And then Louis kind of looks around, grabs the kid's ice cream, and runs. Here he is. He, 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 he licks it, <laughs> runs. And then I'm I was totally that. taken out of it by feeling like you were going to die. Yeah. Can I? Can I? Like, it's like, wait, Louis did that? Wow, look at that. You're like an action star. And then, and then the helicopter banks to the yeah, side of the door. The side of the so door. you could have flown right totally. the fuck out of there. I was looking down. I was holding onto the seat cushion, <laughs> oh, which, by the way, just <laughs> Velcroed into the helicopter very softly. And I'm looking down at water. Yeah, like the all thing I turned see like is sideways. Just water. It's just the, the no, East River. It took me right out of the bit yeah. itself when I was looking. At that point, I just went, Louis just did a stunt. It was crazy. Yeah. And then seconds later, we're over the Brooklyn Bridge. Like, it takes yeah, like 10 that seconds. Can I, right. I, I got to ju jump in, though. You don't run yeah. like an action star. No, I don't. I run like <laughs> a big, <laughs> fat retard. And, and you do what everyone does when they're approaching a helicopter. Yeah. You're crouching you down. Crouch you know, my except head down except for Vic bit. Morrow. He didn't <laughs> yeah. do that. Even yeah. though even though there's plenty of headroom, but we all have to crouch you down. See, look, you're you're look at how crouched like, down. You're giving yourself yeah. a few extra inches. Exactly. Well, because in order to take off that fast, in order in order to take off that fast, he had to be at the the, the rotors had to be at that at speed. speed. Yep. It was incredibly loud, and it was. 
Brr, nah, and he did that. Yep. And the kid, and nobody cared. I was the only one who was like, can the kid be this close to a yeah, helicopter? Wait, it's by the water. And people would you be like. You could have blown him into the drink. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Were you scared over the bridge? Oh, yeah, that really bummed me out a lot. But I did. Oh, I, we did three takes, and by the third one, three I, takes. I was enjoying. Ah, uh, you were flying it by the yeah. third one. Yeah. Yeah. Like, give me the yeah. stick. You know what? That's first one. That's a cool YouTube video, right? That is. That's, that's something right. different. I like it. It's yeah. funny though, because a lot of there's a lot of comments on it, and some of them are like, "Fuck this video! I hate this video. This was a waste." of my Every time. single video on yes. YouTube has the dude. This sucks. It's a waste. You it's... could videotape Jesus Christ coming yeah. back, walking on fucking water, yeah. and yeah. there will be that guy. Dude, this is such shit. This is so This is why YouTube sucks. Videos like this. And then they'd be fake, fake, yeah. Yeah. It's the same comment. Yes. And then there's the, you know, dude, that's so funny or that this rules, you know, so talented, that's great. Yeah. Dude, this is what YouTube, you know, it used to be cool. There's another kind of YouTube, another comment that's on every YouTube thing that I have, which is just a literal reaction to what was done yeah like uh, there's a few comments on that one that say like wow he really he took that ice cream and got in that helicopter <laughs> oh wow <laughs> like, he right. well, took that it seems ran like, yeah uh, that seems like a lot of he didn't need a whole helicopter to get away from that child did he <laughs> like people are <literally, laughs> taking it literally <laughs> and, you're, and you're using a child actor but some of these yeah. dummies uh, this one right here oh my god that was so mean i hope that was a, just a joke he didn't yes. really just steal ice cream yes. from a little boy making a dramatic escape on a helicopter yes. just for the heck of it because that would be me <laughs> you get every what it is is you get the a cross section every of society of you get everything you're not just getting people that get a joke or have a sense yep. of humor or are stuffy business people it's yep. everything so you'll get morons that think everything's real yep they'll get the people that think everything's fake well people that think everything's great exactly everything sucks yes, <laughs> like, exactly <laughs> no the one that i have the most innocuous video that i have on there my dog uh fighting with a sprinkler <laughs> it's been hit two million times because people love animals yeah and, but and, and we wanted my sh- reach we want to show it at the virus tour but we didn't uh we can't get a good I don't have. I took it with one, a little digital camera. Right. Yeah. So, but but every uh, there's a bunch of people that are really mad at me because the name of the video is oh. Louis C.K.'s stupid dog, <laughs> and because I call my dog stupid, and she's stupid. They're she's stupid. a dog, of course. And the video, she, just uh, if you haven't checked it out yet, is uh, Louis's dog kind of chasing after a sprinkler. It's and just trying she's to eat trying it. to drink from a high powered sprinkler. <laughs> and I, I like to think that she's trying to eat it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's and trying to eat it. The 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 velocity of the water yeah. is turning her it's head just sideways, whipping her head every time she. She yeah. bites into it, ripping out teeth. Oh, that's yeah. hysterical. Well, watch. But then she follows the She thing. tries. She's like, eh, and then she goes. Barks at it a little. Yeah, I'm yeah. done with it. All right. That that's hurts. how we want to introduce <laughs> you at the virus tour, but we don't have a good copy of that. Well, He's since talk. I put that one has more comments than anything else, and most of them are negative. People saying, you shouldn't call your dog stupid. You're stupid because you didn't give her enough water. That's why she's doing that. Dogs love Louis. things like that. People saying, you're wasting water. <laughs> uh, it's a fucking public park sprinkler near my house. You got 6,300 comments and four yeah. honors, by the way. What are yeah. the honors for the video there, E-Rock? Cruel. <laughs> down, down, right there. No, up. Asshole. Most fake oh. video. <laughs> it's not even a real dog, dude. E-Rock. It's the dog in the Pirates of the Caribbean that th- is holding the keys. This one is on also, it's on. it was on Keith Oberman on, uh, oh my it was on television. Oh, really? I no, I just read, somebody told oh, me it was on hey. TV. So. E-Rock, honors. You've never looked at honors on a video? Why would he know, know about honors? Is. E-Rock, move the, move the arrow to your left. E-Rock. All right, now up. Up. <laughs> Direct Stop. his mouth. To the right. To, uh, higher. Right. Higher. <laughs> down. <laughs> down. Why? Down, down to, the right. to the left. Oh, my oh, no, God. Up. Right there. Right. Oh. Up, well, up, up. Oh my okay. God! It's like a, a a young retarded child. I didn't know you could have honors. I don't even know what that is. Uh, most yeah. discussed all time comedy. You're in ninety fifth place. Not mm. bad. Uh, recently featured sixty sixth place. Uh, you're wow. You're big in Poland. Recently featured in Poland. Twenty <laughs> sixth place though. Let's see what Polish videos are beating it right now. Yeah. Ah. Wow. All right. Here's the Polish. By a person doing the same thing. Uh, the, <laughs> yes. Oh boy. The, <laughs> 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 oh, fuck, that's funny. Polish people are watching it going, so that's how you drink from a sprinkler. Uh, <laughs> well, you got the joy of shaving, uh, uh, beating it. Go to, go to the, the first joy page. of shaving. First page there, Polish videos Jesus. recently featured in Poland. <laughs> uh, wow, I can't speak Polish. You speak Polish? Oh. 
Tesla. Well, you were. Tesla coil at Duxin 2007. Tesla. South Bank juggling. Ararat uh, video. Ah, uh, whatever. I guess this is this fun. Uh, crap. We were hoping. Yeah. Oh, well. Sorry. <laughs> Damn. How many hits, though? Uh, that one uh, over two million. It's, uh, it's, it's getting close to three now. I think it's like twenty. Isn't it point two point four million now? So, wow! Yeah. Oh, you're checking every day, aren't you, Louis? Oh yeah, we do. That. How, how, <laughs> we do that. how many do I have? Put mine. Uh, put my Louis Vista got two, in. Louis got two point five. Damn it. Put my Vista in. How many? Uh, how many? Anthony had a viral video too. There, Louis. He's up to uh, what? What? One point seven. One point seven. Son of a bitch. Good. What kind of faggot video is that? One point seven. I know. One point eight almost. Let's call one point eight. It's my Vista when I was loading Vista in on my Dell computer. The Did biggest it? Opie and Anthony video so far and, on uh, the vi on the video. Oh yeah. Place. And the comments Anthony. on that one are great because it's like, all right, Mac fanboy, why don't you blow it out your ass, you sissy, oh, it's all with PC your Mac? Tons, and then yeah. it's like, you know, and then the PC people are even like, you know, you you can't. You can't figure out how to do it. You know, you got to run the test first to see if your computer's compatible, asshole. And I'm like, dude, I know about computers. I did everything. Yes. I bought a computer that was a Dell computer that was Vista ready. It said Vista ready, but Vista wasn't ready yet. So they go, when Vista comes out, you load it in. And your your Vista ready. I go to load it in, wouldn't fucking load. No, of no drivers for it. And people are going, well, it's not Dell's or Vista's fault, ass. It's uh, your your uh, cards, your video cards didn't have the drivers ready for Vista. Jesus. Well, then Vista ain't fucking ready to come out. It was working before Vista, didn't work after. It's Vista's fucking fault. Not is. Nvidia. You fucker. Yeah. I hate that. And they make it sound like you know. Well, he must have a real piece of shit, mm. dude. I. Buy and sell your fucking piece of shit computers on a weekly basis. I'm sorry I have to bring my wealth into this. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Man. Calm down. Most people were with you. No, the the thing is, uh, people think, right. this is what I've learned from it, because the, the Catholic one I did got the most negative response because it's very inflammatory. Well, But even the course. one I did one about my father, this whole thing where it's a cartoon. Oh, yeah, yeah. That one's good. It's just yeah. a cartoon of how I can do anything in a cartoon, but it mostly becomes about confronting my <laughs> father. And I get a lot of people saying, you know, you should leave your dad alone. He probably did his best. And <laughs> like the, the thing is, I think people's problems is that it's okay to get offended by stuff you see, but because people get to comment, they think they're being offended should matter. Right. And it just fucking doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you're offended, nobody has to give a shit that you don't like something. Yeah. You can just sit there and not like it and go fuck yourself. It That's why I like that they have comments for people's comments. Yeah. yeah. Like you can take his comment <laughs> and then people get ragged on yeah. their comments. It's like, good. See, you said fuck you. Now yeah. these people are telling you, go exactly. fuck yourself yep. on your comment. Who animated that? Because it, that it looked great, like you. A great guy. His name is Aaron Augablick. Um, they did, did, did a the show. Credits? He did. The, no, no. That's okay. David Trisman for Lucky Louie. But this guy. He does a show called Wonder Shows in on MTV. That's right. Yeah. Oh my God. It's so funny. Hero. It, it's like yes, it's like here. And then, I can and then fly. it's me telling my father that I don't that I don't appreciate his. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I got something to do. <laughs> I could aggressive. do everything in a cartoon, you know, because yeah, yeah. I'm a cartoon character. So he starts doing all these fun things in a cartoon, and then it always ends up him having some awful confrontation <laughs> yeah. thing with his father. Yeah. Stuff that I'm too afraid to. <laughs> Is that worth yeah, in, life? in real life? Is that yeah. worth playing audio wise? Nah, cause no, you got to say it. The, yeah, the, the cartoon. Graphics. Okay. Yeah. The Catholic one's the best one, especially right. since we're on X. I'm going to give you the big plug. I, this is what I'm doing tonight. I'm going to watch all the Louis C.K. videos awesome. on YouTube. It's Definitely. just you go if you go to YouTube.com and then it's just slash Louis C.K. Yep. Then, yeah. That's, that's my channel. Yeah. It's it's amazing that it takes like four minutes to set up and you have your own channel. Your own channel. Hey, whatever and you want to say. It has the same bandwidth. And strength is like NBC.com. <laughs> yeah. That's why, that's why the internet scares the shit out of these people. Yeah, oh, this is fucking. And all you TV, need, man. all you need yep. is a little push. You know, some, uh, you know, uh, people to catch on to it. Yep. And, and it's you get huge amounts of hits. That. People yep. see things more than they see. Uh, Especially some if you TV don't charge shows. money. If you put yep. stuff out there for free, because as soon as I see that I got to pay for something on the internet, it's gone. goodbye. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, pay for sure it. it's on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where's the Catholic video we got yet? It's up there. <laughs> All right, thanks, Danny. Let's uh, go to Brian. He's got a cue of the D for us today. Brian, what's up? How's it going, guys? Hey. Hi, Brian. Great. Well, I got a cue of the D. Uh, just uh, why do midgets laugh when they run? Hold on now. Let us get a chance to. Why do midgets laugh? When they run, because their mothers drank during pregnancy. 
<laughs> um, no. Uh, no. Let's see. Hold on. Mm. It's nervous laughter mm. because they're they know they're going to die because their hearts are too big for the rib cage. <laughs> uh, Wait, hold on, one. hold on, Louis. A good on. point. How about this? They're, 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 what was the question? <laughs> oh my uh, God! Why are they laughing? They're, when they're, yeah. laughing. <laughs> they're not laughing. They're crying. But because they're they're cartoonish, we think they're always jolly. Ah. So either way, it doesn't matter. Mine was close to Jimmy's. They are crying because they're trotting upon their balls. <laughs> why are midgets? I think it's the same answer as why do women? Uh, why don't? How long? What, how, what, some wait, about no, why don't no. women come? Who cares? Oh, wait, who cares? Who cares? Right. Wait, why? Why, make, well, why was the midget care. laughing while he was running? Yes. I know because he didn't realize he was running head on into a mirror, and he was thinking, "Look at that piece of shit headed towards me." <laughs> Look at that subhuman. <laughs> Look at that fucking... short, big-headed shit blob <laughs> Look with at that tiny shoes. God-hated piece of shit. <laughs> Look at that thing that should have been aborted running towards me. <laughs> Is that it, sir? Look at that one. Uh, One exception to what Hitler should have not <laughs> oh, killed. God. Look at that no basketball playing <laughs> motherfucker. Eat pussy standing up, nothing. <laughs> running towards me. Eat pussy uh, standing up. Oh, the poor midget. Well, let's, uh, let's find out. Uh, Brian? Yeah. Why do midgets laugh when they run? Because the grass... <laughs> I think I got it though. I think I did too. Yeah, the grass, yeah, the grass tickled, tickled his balls or his taint or his ass. Or something. I, I wasn't quick enough. Huh? Nah. Oh, Mike in Queens. Because I know. <laughs> oh, I thought he hung up. You did. Oh, yeah, it was him. Yeah. Who cares? Mike in Queens. Uh, who saw this coming? What do you got there, oh. Mike? Uh, I just saw a midget that looked just like Earl. He was dressed all in black. And just his wow. little fingers dangling out of the sides of his shirt. Little fingers. But I mean, he, he was a uh, Afro-American midget, all Afro-American. All Afro-American. <laughs> Who are you, Malcolm X's speechwriter? Using terminology <laughs> yeah. from the sixties. <laughs> trying to. Oh, he was a Negro. To not offend the midget that you're yes. <laughs> calling in to say you oh, well. saw, because it's funny that he's deformed. Yeah. But I'm not a racist, though. The, not. the fun in these midget sightings is when you tell us what the little fellow yeah, was, was doing. doing. Well, I basically, he was just like uh, he was just like trotting down the street you know, with his little trotting. legs running. No midget ever just walks down the street. He's now they have to trot to keep midget, up well, with everybody and keep up with life, like he was running, keep up with the globe. Walking. You never hear like, "What was that midget doing?" Oh, he was on the phone making a real estate deal. <laughs> yeah, it's never that. It's... He was washing an elephant with a big broom. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> it's always something insignificant that the jocularity should ensue after you hear it. <laughs> he was dancing with was pointy funny, shoes man. with bells on them. <laughs> all right, so you just jump all over Anthony. That's ah, okay. Why do you feel like you have to continue talking, there, Mike? I never uh, understand. Well, that. I was just trying to say something, and you guys started to talk. I wish I All right, well, understand. obviously you have something important to say, so, Mike, yeah. what is it? I'm sorry. I just thought it was funny. It looked a little like Earl's mini-me. That's, that's why I was calling about this midget. <laughs> well, I screwed that up. Okay. Meanwhile, back at the show. Thank you, sir. All right, we got Louis C.K.'s uh, Catholic Church uh, clip ready to go. Don't mind me. Why do you have a clicking when I you have type? to. What are you I, I ought to turn the uh, thing off. You turn the sound off on your I'm iPhone. Just, uh, what are you clicking away? I, I, I There's a lot of clicking text. going on. My, my girl's still in the hospital, so I have to text occasionally. Is she listening to the show? No. It won't allow it. They won't allow the XM and the O. won't allow it. Uh, today's the big operation. We didn't, yes. even, we didn't even give the update yesterday. She's going to have her, or, uh, this gall, her gall bladder removed. A gall bladder. Yeah, it's one of those parts. You just yeah. Ah, you can take that out, get rid of it. Yep, yeah. toss it. Here's uh, it for queers. <laughs> Call letters are for faggots. <laughs> Louis C.K. becoming a YouTube star. Here's yeah. his uh, video. Louis C.K. learns about the Catholic Church. Right. I was raised Catholic till I was about ten, and then I quit because my parents let me. But I was always amazed. I don't really know anything about the Catholic Church. 
It's an enormous institution. Louis, you're producing these things, right? Why the yeah. Why the big microphone? Is that all you have at home? <laughs> <That's all. laughs> why not hide that thing? God, I didn't even look why, at that. I was why, so... why not hide and make it look look a little more natural? Like, I thought yeah, everything the, the was a prop. just happened to pop on, and you you have this <laughs> this thing to say. <laughs> look at this. I assumed what everything was well thought out, yeah. and it was like he a must, reason. Well, he must be Letterman. Look at this. Look no, at this. no, He's got it's the Letterman mic in front of him. It's kind of like um, it was supposed to be a podcast, <laughs> and I was doing it as a podcast originally. Uh, Okay. And then it became an HBO <laughs> pilot presentation that didn't right. get off the ground. Right. And I just didn't trade the microphone for anything that looked And you're like. leaning into the microphone because yeah, you're not no sure if, it has, if, if no you're getting good sound out. You had a clip-on lav or something. Terrible you broadcast. Used, or... Yeah. No you idea see, what I'm doing. Hire a buddy to like get one of those boom mics. <laughs> yeah. A boom yeah. mic. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Louis. It would have been awesome. It really is yeah. awful. Louis is a big Griffin, star. Right. right. It's supposed to look kind of homemade. Herb Griffin's mic. It should just have some big flowery crap on it. Yeah. Well, the one that Jack Parr threw out because it looked old. <laughs> Wait, what is, what's your excuse, though? It was, just like, it was supposed to look kind of homemade. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, like, it's just me presenting the shit. Off because the I didn't I didn't have... I put the production value into the clips, into the bits. Right. And so the tie together stuff, I made it purposefully. I don't have any money for this. Part, right. So. You should have been holding, like, a, a, a long Gene Rayburn microphone. <laughs> one of those <laughs> old <laughs> game show ones. <laughs> like a little booger on the end of a car antenna. <laughs> he started radio. Oh, did he? Yeah. Right. I was raised Catholic till I was about 10, and then I quit because uh, my parents let me. I hear this but story. I was always amazed. I don't really know anything about the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. It's an enormous institution, total mystery. So I just went out and found out everything that I could about the Catholic Church and, and what it's all about. I started here at the Catholic Archdiocese of New York. I just walked in the door and started asking questions. Without much effort, I was given an interview with Father Ike McCready, spokesperson for the Archdiocese. Uh, so, what is the Catholic Church? What are you guys all about? Okay. The Catholic Church is an ancient, worldwide organization dedicated to the constant goal of fucking young boys. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> it's, it's a Did whole. You know the, know the whole atmosphere in there. It's, it's a priest. It's very real. You got the guy as the priest. It looks like you are in. We are I, in a church. Oh, and I'm sitting there like, is he using an actor? I'm not really sure yet. Yeah, no, I'm trying to figure it out, know. and then all of a sudden, whammo! <laughs> Good blammy, yeah. Wow! Wow! Great. It's a. Uh, hold on. Worldwide organization dedicated to the constant goal of fucking young boys. Really? <laughs> sure. Wow. I thought everybody knew that. <laughs> well, I, I thought that the that the point of the church was to worship God, and the boy fucking was just incidental. No, it's just the other way around. <laughs> the church is the boy fucking. All the other stuff is just busy work. <laughs> Holy shit, are they coming after you with torches? <laughs> and more or less, more or less, oh, yeah. Busy work. Right, Lily. <laughs> Oh, this is funny. Did uh, our friend Bill O'Donoghue get a Nobody, he hasn't said anything. There's been there? a couple of uh, Catholic oh, websites Donahue. that I've found that have... The great thing Donahue. is uh, that, Donahue, they, right? that they embed the video. Like this one Catholic website said, this is the worst thing we've ever seen. They embed it. Oh, so yeah. So you can watch it. There and there's links to my website, links to my MySpace All page. Right. Like it's the great. They're advertising yeah. for you. It's awesome. And it continues. Okay, so how does it work? Well, you stick your dick up their ass. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, as an organization. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> I love what it. The hell? <laughs> we, we, shot so this, we shot this at a church in New York, which I'm not going to say which one it is. Of course. Cause there's no reason to cause any problems. <laughs> yeah. And um, the guy, because they, they don't care. They, they don't know what we were shooting. And it wasn't a Catholic church. It was a different kind of church. And uh, the priest was a nice guy, and he kept sticking his head in and going, Hey, you need an extra? I'm kind of a ham. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 like, no, man. So he had no idea what was no, going man. on in his office? No idea. Oh, should have been filming God. porno. No yeah, idea. You could have been doing porno exactly. in there. Exactly. Hey, I could, uh, you know. No, <laughs> no idea. Oh. I mean, as an organization, why do you need a whole church just to do that? Oh. You see... You can't just go around fucking boys in the street. People get mad. So what we do is we build churches around the world and tell people they got to come there to pray, give us their money, or they'll go straight to hell. Now that gives us the authority 
and the gravitas to control their lives, most importantly, to give us their young boys, so we can educate them, feed them, and ultimately fuck them in the ass and face. <laughs> and it's tax deductible. <laughs> and it's tax deductible. <laughs> fuck them in the ass and face. And YouTube has no problem with this video? Apparently not. Because Holy apparently shit. Not. Are you it's kidding not even, It's not even... There's no warning that it's... We show a lousy, like, booby or something, and yeah. our whole account gets deleted. Yeah. Maybe it's because uh, there's no a visual thing, there's like nothing, a breast or something. No. And, yep. you know, you could... Say whatever the hell you'd like. Mm -hmm. It's oh just words. That is interesting. It's just words. Nobody I was very surprised hurt. to find out that the Catholic Church exists solely for the purpose of boy rape. But as I did some research, I found out that it's true. I contacted the Vatican for verification, and I received this written statement from the Pope himself. We at the Catholic Church fuck boys all day long. That's all we ever do. <laughs> Signed, the Pope. <laughs> Father McCready showed me how the Catholic Church is constantly refining their boy fuck techniques. So, well, but so what are all these people doing? This is the only this part is that the is... Situation room. This is where we keep track of all the molesting priests around the world and move them from place to place so they won't get caught. Let's go. It's not matching the video. Father Geegan, yeah. you are clear to ask rape a male child in Sector 649. -er. Good day. <laughs> like air that, that, this is where you need to see the visuals a little bit because we found this amazing place that looks like some kind of situation. Room. Yeah, it looks like Doctor Strange Love situation room. Right, it's right. Very, very perfect. A lair. Yes. Someone's evil lair. Yes. Lots of computer screens and wow. guys moving pieces around with long sticks. <laughs> like is there the a reason Nazis. why you do this? <laughs> Purity. Purity. Yeah. You see, the boys come to us and they are pure. We fuck the boys and take the purity into ourselves. And the next time we defecate, we create what's called a purity brick. <laughs> a purity brick? W what do you do with all these bricks? Well, we bring it to this paper plant, crush them into mulch, and that's how we make Bibles. <laughs> so you're telling me that all Catholic Bibles are printed on paper made from the shit of priests who fuck kids in the ass? That's it in a nutshell. Yes. <laughs> Wow, that is so interesting. Well, the Lord moves in mysterious ways. <laughs> oh, fuck. What the <laughs> we went to Staten Island to a real paper plant. <laughs> Found a real paper processing plant and shot in there. It was like 150 degrees in there. Oh. The thing was to do it as real looking as possible. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're so twisted. <laughs> That's great, dude. Very funny. So are, are there any boys that you guys have not fucked? Were you raised Catholic? Yes. And were you fucked by a priest when you were a boy? No, I don't think so. Wait. No, I was. Yeah, I guess I was. Huh. We're very thorough. <laughs> <laughs> a little tear in my eye right there. He starts crying. <laughs> let me ask. Let me ask you one more question. Shoot. Is it wrong to fuck boys? Of course not. And if it was wrong, now don't you think God would put a stop to it? Hmm. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. <laughs> There's no God. <laughs> 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 That's it. That the oh, oh my God! Oh, yeah, the only thing you're missing yeah. is like there's a graphic description a few, of the yeah, a few visuals in there. But yeah, uh, the boys the being f the purity of the boys being fucked is a whole graphic thing. That yeah, Aaron Augerblick again, the same guy who did the other cartoon, did the the great narration. Wow. Did it, that is. Did you hand that into HBO? I did. Yeah. What did HBO? <laughs> what did they didn't have a, the HBO's amazing because they don't. You know. They, they, the, 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 they, I mean, I can't say a lot about it. it it's dead. It's a dead uh, project. But it wasn't because of that. That was not really the reason. They were, they were like, they just thought it was too much me. I was in a lot of it. Too much like, you? Yeah, I'm in everything. I'm jumping in a helicopter. I'm doing this. I'm doing all these things. So isn't that what you're so supposed said, to be if it's your show? Yeah, but they wanted a little more. You know, I think they got tired of me after oh. Lucky Louie. So yeah, but couldn't that, so, but they didn't couldn't that have been a nice demo though. And then you say, all right, we'll reshoot this with some of my friends. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, also I handed it in. Uh, a, a week after Chris Albrecht uh, got canned, so mm -hmm. I kind of wow. just got shredded in the mulch of shit. Wow, it man! It just wasn't meant to be. It was bad timing. Um, but uh, you know, I don't care. The shit's on YouTube. It's fun <laughs> having it out there. And actually, they told me that they got 
hate mail from Catholics, even Did though they? even though there's no indication that it's an HBO bit. Right. Um, they just have, figured it out. They just no. They just figured out the connection. Went to the nearest corporation to me because I'm not working for anybody right now. Yeah, so, so you can't you, really you get are, me canceled. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, can't get you canceled your your yourself. Yeah. There's an overall panic on the instant feedback. Look, man, yeah. it's something Louis C.K. put together for an HBO project that went uh, didn't go anywhere. What's what, the panic? What can about? I tell you? They're worried we're gonna get fired. For oh what? God, stop! We just aired uh, uh, one of Louis's bits. So it's how okay. long before you guys receive a call from the Catholic League? Oh my God. We might uh, see that better happening, start scanning but we didn't do them tuna for something else to listen to in traffic. I smell oh. suspension. Oh, geez, fellas, calm Stop down. It. Holy shit, Louis C.K. is brilliant. Oh, oh that's nice. That uh, is nice. I like that that's panic, though. There's a bit of a yeah. panic no. out there right now. A little panicky. That was hilarious, right. dude. You can check out Louis C.K.'s videos up Thanks. on YouTube. All right, we're going to take our, our break here and uh, continue with some other thanks. It's Opie and Anthony. That's great. Louis C.K. in studio today. Great. Checking out some of his uh, YouTube videos. If you go to YouTube, just punch in Louis C.K. and you'll uh, you'll 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 see the one we just played and uh, others. Somebody's asking about the 911 call. Oh yeah. What's that one about? You could play that one if you want. I don't. Um, it's just a 911. It's a bogus 911 call, and it has the graphics where you see the phone in the background and the voice printed out. Yeah. And I do both voices, the operator and the. Oh, so you just. Uh, all right. The, yeah. You yeah. just answered this guy's question. Is that yeah. call real? No, no. That's me. <laughs> How did he do, do that? That's so fake. Yeah, I did it into my cell phone, and then I recorded it with a microphone off my speakerphone. All right. <laughs> do, we, do we have it to play there, Iraq? Yep. All right, here we go. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Help! Oh God! Ma'am, what is it? Oh Jesus! Help! Calm down, ma'am. I need you to tell me. Black. What's that, ma'am? Black people. Oh God! What is your emergency? I told you, black people. Jesus, help me! That's it. Just yes, black people. Black. <laughs> Where are the black people, ma'am? In America. <laughs> oh, help me! Oh my Send God! Send the car right over. Oh. <laughs> Send the car right over. <laughs> oh my God! That is a lot of you, Lou. That is a lot of me. You're playing both parts in that one too. Yes. Lou. yes. Do you have any friends? <laughs> no, no, it's just me by myself. Uh, I think you're. Uh, I think your uh, your stuff's gonna get a bit of a buzz. <laughs> Uh, what's the second 911 call? Uh, you know what? It's probably not fun here in the both. I just don't want to be surprised with something that will get us fired. Is, is what I'm getting <laughs> yeah, I know, at. I, know, I should okay. ask you a, a no, little bit about right. that Catholic video ahead of time. Make <laughs> something innocent, like a man whose lima beans were spoiled. <laughs> That's right, something like that. Uh, the second one's probably just boring after the first one. All right. It's sort of the all right, same cool. idea. Good point. Good yeah. point. There you go. <laughs> that means That's it's real yeah. racial. Yeah. <laughs> racist, I should say. Racist, right. All right. Want to move on to other things? Certainly. Other things. Ah, we're done with Merv Griffin. He's dead. Who gives a shit? Uh, give the Griffin family, perhaps. They certainly do. I would think them. Uh, people that he's worked with over the years. Right. Perhaps care. Yeah. Um, there, goes, uh, there goes their meal bag. Yeah. Maury's doing the top ten most memorable DNA test results. <laughs> <laughs> what? Jesus. He's got a, a top ten. Of shit. Oh, man. Oh. Those never get old either. No. Video update. Well, we got the Vince McMahon thing. We got another wrestler Vince. dying. We can we can sense. Oops. We can bring Sam in here, our wrestling expert, and get into this a little bit. I would like to uh, ask Sam about the wrestling after maybe a few questions about uh, his personal life. All right, could you, you know uh, things like maybe eating? Could you play Sam's entering Where's, entrance music? Play his music. Maybe he'll come in if he hears it. There it is. Here comes little Sam. <laughs> Sam, uh, he 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 eats. Like an eight-year-old. Right, he eats in his little jammies, right? Yeah, it's just yeah. the food he consumes is the same food little eight-year-olds come up mm -hmm. to their mommy and ask for. Mm -hmm. N nothing like steak or burgers or something like that. It's always got to be something in a neat package. Like, um, uh, what, what are those little sandwich things <laughs> that you... The, 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 uh, uh, no, Lunchables. Yeah, Lunchables. Like, he would eat Lunchables <laughs> and things like that. Well, Lou, how old's your kid? Five is my oldest. Two, five, two okay. and five. All right. So she, yeah, I mean, she gets snacks in a baggie. Yeah, see, she gets, things she like likes, that. All right. 
Ew. I can picture him just eating slimy Cheerios all day, like wet from his own spit <laughs> on his fingers. <laughs> this, and by the way, this is not a bit, it's real. Right, right. We didn't write a list of things for him to no. say. This mm -hmm. is the, and he never disappoints. We didn't even ask him. Amazing. You would think we would ask him every day and go, oh, you actually had a burger. Oh, one day it'll be like, like, yeah, no, I just had a burger. Yeah, Fine. we don't even ask him. No. We just know this works every time. <laughs> no. So with that, Sam, what did you have for dinner last night? Um, last night I had... Uh, fish sticks with <laughs> onion rings and celery sticks. Do you have any condiments with the fish sticks? What do you dip no, them in? Nothing. No ketchup? Yeah, no kids. ketchup? No. no. You don't like ketchup with your fishies? I with your fish? I don't want to call them. <laughs> what about tartar sauce? Fish bakey? That's what we call that fish bakey. Fish bakey. Fish bakey. You yeah. don't like ketchup with your fish bakey? Fish bakey. Could, I could make a smile of ketchup for you. Oh. And you could dip it into the smile. You, you eat fish bakey. <laughs> fish bakey. <laughs> I could make a face with the fish bakey They're and the smile is ketchup. And onion rings. What? And uh, of course, what dessert. Is it? No, no, oh, no. Oh, oh, hey. right. Sorry, sorry. The way we do this. I was out of uh, line. And what did, what did you wash it down with? I had a glass of whole milk. Of course. Yes. Whole milk. He has milk with everything. No, every not everything. Thing. He doesn't drink milk in the morning like everybody else mm -hmm. does. He no. drinks milk at night with these awful right meals of his. Now fish and milk. Onion rings, fish yeah. and uh, fish, 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 awful. Fish, fish stickies and whatever. Uh, and, uh, fish bakeys. Fish bakeys, sorry. Fish bakeys. And, and, and fish bakeys. Fish stickies. Fish stickies. <laughs> I like that, too. Yeah. Uh, so what, what, now what did you have for dessert? What, was that it for dinner though? No, like, little baby carrots like you like to eat? Celery sticks. Celery, celery sticks. sticks. Just raw celery sticks? Yeah. For dinner. Well, with, with your fish, with your fish bakey. Fish, fish bake, bakey. <laughs> now, where did the celery sticks come from? Did somebody take real celery and, and shave it down for you, or did you buy celery sticks like with a picture of Popeye on it? Oh, yes, he gets the ones in the bag probably. <laughs> right. Cut up nice for him. I a little think picture. my girlfriend cut them up for me. <laughs> you don't even know. That's the, the real answer. Is he doesn't know where it comes from. I don't know. <laughs> if he was a little more grown up, he'd actually know what the package looked like. Yeah, no, I don't know. But he doesn't even know. Was the milk warm so you could go down for a nap? No, it's not warm. Man. Oh, okay. No, Thought come on. What do you he think he is? Yeah, <laughs> a child. Come on, he's a man. Is he? <laughs> All right, and what? what Showing no evidence of that. Watch this, Lou. The dessert is okay. the best part. What do you have for mm. dessert? Um, last night I had. <laughs> Uh, gummy cola bottles. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, you guys gotta believe us. I believe every word of it. Do not ask ahead of time. He, no, he never does. Security to that. Gummy? Wait, can, you, can you say that again? Gummy cola bottles. <laughs> gummy, gummy cola bottles. Oh so they're God. gummy bear flavored stuff. That are shaped like cola bottles. Are they all cola flavored? Yeah, they oh. cola flavored. So it's cola flavored, and uh -huh. they're shaped like oh, little bottles. God. Do you bite? Do you bite the little lid off first? Do you pretend to drink <laughs> out of it? No, yeah, I don't sure. pretend. There's no liquid. No, no, no. that would be There's silly. No liquid. There's no liquid. Why but would I do that? He does bite the top. Yeah. Off. Now I'm you're in a, you're in a, but he's a man. You're in a serious relationship. Like when you guys want to go out for dinner, there's not many choices. No. You have to Where go, do you go? You have to use the kids' menu at the <laughs> restaurant. Like no, no kids' mac menu. and cheese and. Where would you go on a date with Jess? Um, I don't know, like uh, not quite fast food places, but like an Applebee's <laughs> or uh, TGI Fridays. What do you get at Applebee's? Uh, what would chicken you get there? Fingers. Chicken fingers. What yeah. about TGI Fridays? You know what he gets at Applebee's? Crayons. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so you draw on the so table. And a dinosaur Look, to can... connect the dots of the dinosaur. <laughs> he likes the placemats with the games on That's them. That's right. Well, people at the other table whisper. And points. <laughs> Look at that. They they should, uh, with Jess and I before on some of our uh, dinner dates. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we took Why him to. Why would that mic work? To, uh, Why? Oh, you California did. California Pizza Kitchen. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, now, wow. what did you have there? Oh, was that New Year's Eve? Was that your. Yeah. <laughs> that was date no. night. Cheese pizza. Cheese, just cheese? You don't oh, like yeah. other things on your pizza? Oh, no. That's. Ew. We, um. we can't even, like, Anthony will take us out to lunch every now and then. Ooh. And. Sam's, he'll just, he doesn't know what to get because it's a real restaurant. Yeah, we go down to like uh, Rue, which is uh, really like good food down there. Right. And a lot of us get the chicken, the broiled chicken, which is just amazing. And he doesn't know what to get. He Or the burgers, like they got great burgers, steak, whatever. Hope nice burgers. Sushi. And he's like, yeah. you got fish sticks? or You don't like a burger? <laughs> no, I don't eat burgers. Why? He needs, need a, any of that he needs a processed, contained food. No, he really yeah. only eats like five or six yeah. things. Yeah. Me Miak me me and cheese. Food? The guys take you for lunch? Is your bed in the shape of, yeah, a, of a race car? <laughs> no. <laughs> <Find a chance. laughs> What's the matter? How do you not like a fucking burger? I know. It's, it's a burger. Everyone likes a burger. All right, was that it for your food last night? 
Yeah. Now breakfast. Now oh, breakfast. A whole nother story. Right. Now breakfast, he goes, he goes sugar uh, all the let's way. Let's see. What, what did you have for breakfast? Well, it wasn't that much sugar because this morning was Pepsi. <laughs> Pepsi, sugar, and uh, yeah. pizza. Pepsi <laughs> and pizza for, for breakfast. breakfast. He's one of these guys that the second uh, he was old enough to do what he wanted, he did that. Wait, he wait, did. Wait, wait, wait. What kind of pizza? Uh, you guys are missing out. It was, oh. it was cheese pizza. It was cold. But was from, it like just from a pizza joint or was it like from the frozen? Helios? No, no, no. This is from a pizza joint because it was left over in the fridge from Saturday. Oh, so you he just really pull it out. like some kid whose his mother shot himself and they found her and him <laughs> eating out of the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> She's been dead for days, and he's just eating himself happy out of the fridge. That's it. Last like, night's pizza and some fish sticks. You reach an age where you can have cake for breakfast. Yeah. You can have a, an entire cake okay. for breakfast, and you just, like, mostly, a normal people don't do it. Yeah, no. There's this crossover of maturity that happens yeah. when when you finally reach an age and you're like, all right, I can do this. I can finally eat but whatever now, I want. But and, now and don't. I don't want to anymore or I know yeah, better. See, I, I, know do, it's not I have disgusting eating habits. Do you? I had, the other day I had one of those uh, cinnamon buns with the jizzy sauce yeah. on it. And here's the worst part. I, I was eating it at the airport that I arrived at. But, <laughs> you see like how wait, wait, gross it is. Cinnabon? Yeah, at a, but at, at yeah. my arrival airport. Oh, I got you. See, yeah. when yeah. you're at the departure airport, you can kind of justify, oh, I got to eat because I'm about to get on a plane. But I've got my bags already. <laughs> yeah. I'm 50 minutes from my fucking house, and I'm sitting at a table eating a Cinnabon. Bill, let me tell you knife. something, though. It like does, making the limo guy wait while I eat the cinnamon. I'm not, I'm not even going to get on you for that because yeah. there is nothing like the smell of that fucking Cinnabon oh, yeah. in an airport. Yeah. You, you're like... <laughs> You smell it out. Yeah, you become a out. dog, and yeah. you just, where yes. is it? Where? And you know it's just horrible. It's pure sugar. Yeah. Your head is buzzing when you're done with it. No. But it's just it's so good, and you're nauseous after three bites. Yep. But it's it is, so it, fucking it, it, good. I've never. I don't remember a meal no, in my no. life that I've walked away from like, oh, good, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> Every meal of my life is well, why the fuck did I just do that to did myself? Did I do that? Something about those. Cinnamon, yeah. They only smell good though. Then when you it's start eating them, they don't. That's what I'm saying. There's you, foods that smell it's a much better than the, than they taste. You know what it is? Yeah. It's 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 a ton of sugar and just like this blah blah well, in you. The gre it's the it's the grease. Yeah, the grease. You it's, know what? You'd be better off just chewing it and spitting it out. Yep. But, you know, the swallowing, for some reason, I don't know. Yep. It's part of the game. Fills the void. You ever have those cinnamon minis from Cinnabon? Kenny got those. Before. Oh, yes. They're lovely. They're like little bite-sized mm. morsels. And the but sticks. They got the little sticks now, too, that, that are just like them, that. But they're not as much as the big frosting And they, one. they taste good? Oh, they're beyond uh, words. It, it is a taste... <laughs> To die for, uh, and you just will. It all just fills the void that <laughs> yeah. God, that God left when he left the slum. Sweetness. My arrival airport. Yeah, that's, that's great. Oh. Wait, you should just grab sad. your bag, leave, and yeah. go to a place. I'm and putting get them down. They got, they're next to me at my knees, my <laughs> bag. Everybody would understand getting on a flight in your home. Yeah, oh, that, I got to grab classic. something. Hey, uh, oh, that's funny. Sam, what yeah. are we doing today? Are we doing some wrestling updates or what? Oh, Vince McMahon, yeah. He's had a lot going on in his life. Oh, he has. What yeah. about the Crush is Dead? Oh, yeah, Crush is Dead. <laughs> but who was right. Crush? Well, Crush was the uh, third member of Demolition. Now, I remember Demolition having two members. Axe and Smash. Axe yeah, and Smash. They and were this the big back yet, in like, right? the yeah. early 90s. How many were in there? Three? Well, yeah. The Axe, Smash, and Crush? Oh, uh, wait a minute. There were two. Eventually. Yeah. He's going to he's gonna explain the third guy. There were two. No one remembers the third guy. Axe and Smash Axe and, and Crush. Axe yeah. and mm -hmm. Smash were pretty popular wrestlers back in the day. Oh, yeah, but eventually when Demolition started waning in popularity, they brought on a third. Would they think he was going to, like, boost the ratings? I guess so. Did he? Not really. Oh, wait, it was originally Axe, Smash, and Demolition. It was just Axe and Smash. That was Demolition. Yeah, the, the, oh, I'm sorry. Their tag team name and was Demolition. Axe plus Smash equals Demolition. Yeah. Thinking he was going to be like Oliver for the Brady Bunch? Yes, You're exactly. You're bringing a new kid, and it's just going to revitalize the whole thing? Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, here's the, here's instead the it just gives gives the dad one kid he can fuck without feeling as guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Boo, doo, doo, doo. Good morning, I'm Craig Treadway. First, Chris Benoit, now Crush. What cops are saying about the death of former World Tag Team Champion wrestler? Wait a minute, is the guy really dead, or is it another funny thing? Oh, he's dead. Are they dead. using the Benoit thing to like? Oh, let's yeah. now say that a bunch of guys are dead. See how that just he's funny. dead, all right. A lot of wrestlers have died uh, lately. Really? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the list is pretty crazy if you if you care to look it up. Wow. 
Uh, here's the story about Crush. It's quick. And former pro wrestler Brian Crush Adams has died. Authorities say Adams' wife found the WWF star unconscious yesterday in his Tampa, Florida home. Police do not suspect foul play. Wow. Adams' death comes less than two months after pro wrestler Chris Benoit murdered his wife and son before killing himself. Adams, this guy sounds. Years old. Crush. He, that sounds like an entertainment report. Yeah, that sounds his voice. Hey, he's hey, da, 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 and another death. His wife found him. That must be a drag. He was when like, was uh, he was like the Gummo Marx of uh, demolition, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like not really the top build one. He ones. was the one who had a girlfriend. Yeah. The other ones were funny. Reference of the day. He right was there. the curly, curly Joe Besser. <laughs> not even Zeppo. <laughs> no, not, not even, even Zeppo. Zeppo. He, fucking Zeppo is ruled compared to Gummo. Yeah. Hey, we got to play, play this again. And then we'll, stay there, Sam. We're going to go back here. We're going to go off road for a second. Uh, you said it sounds like an uh, entertainment report or whatever. Yeah. You got to cool. hear this news clip. We played it earlier. We played it yesterday. We can't get enough of this. Oh, I love this guy. Uh, this reporter is laughing his ass off as he's like reporting this story. That's all, okay. all, all I'll say. It's uh, Jay Warren out of uh, Nebraska. A fire crash leaves three people dead. Police in Nebraska say a rental truck carrying two people lost control crossed the median and collided head-on with a semi-truck. Both trucks burst into flames, and witnesses say there were several explosions. The two <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. The two people in the room... <laughs> The two people in the rental truck and the driver of the semi. This is a sad story. Excuse me. We're killed. Crews say they had fires contained in about 10 minutes. <laughs> was he fired immediately? I mean, immediately? We don't, we don't have an explanation. He said that he left because somebody was holding up pictures of the victims. <laughs> I got to hear it again. The pause. That when he goes... The people in the room? In the room? You can't say rental truck. But can't you turn a, a laugh into a cry to save your uh, job? No. There was a point there that he, he realized. must have been fired. Dude, it was right from the start. You could hear him losing it. I don't know if you saw, you know, the two helicopters that crashed into each oh, other. Because yeah. those people are fucking idiots. Uh, yeah, the, the news copters. The woman, the anchor, I don't know if you could, I, I could, you could hear the guy the dying scream, and you can hear I him know. screaming while she's going, well, we're just going to go back and see what happens. I and, like, know. and she's yeah. icily. You hear that like, you, ah! you hear like, ah! it's, it's like a cartoon horrible. screech. Yeah, give me, give me both, oh. you rock. And she's over it just being way, so professional that there's yeah. ice in her veins. Well, we're going to see what happens well, we'll there. go back and see what happens. Well, My best friend just died. I'm like, they might have had a touch of a problem. <laughs> we'll be back enough. after these words, pay some bills. The and, uh, and the guy in the booth is like, nice one, Monica. Yeah. Here, good one. Good here, way to handle it. Here's the truck guy again. You could hear right from the beginning that Yeah, he's... that he's losing it. He's starting to laugh. Oh, yeah, you can hear the quiver in his voice. Yeah. A fire crash leaves three people dead. Police in Nebraska say a rental truck Sorry. carried two people <laughs> lost control, crossed the median, and collided head-on with a semi-truck. Both trucks burst into flames, and witnesses say there were several explosions. The two... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Amazing. And he's like, excuse me. Like, he gets mad at himself. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh -huh. And then he go, when he's trying to say the rental truck, he goes, the rent. Oh the and, and then he can't even deal. Oh boy, Tom and Philly, Curly Joe, Derrida, and Joe Besser. There were two Curly Joes. Weren't Sorry, there? don't. Well, yeah. there was there was uh, oh, Curly, there was Curly, was Curly, but then there was Curly Joe, who was, a, was one of the Joe Howard Besser. brothers. Yeah, uh, with uh, Shemp and uh, Mo. This guy's excited. And there was Larry Fine. Thinks he could correct the. Premise. And then there was uh, uh, Joe Besser. And then there was Joe Besser. And then there was uh, Curly Joe, who was the guy. Uh, oh, I'll pinch you. So yeah, I you that's so hard. Pinch. Yeah, yeah. That guy. that guy. Didn't he suck? He was oh, awful. That was they when Mo was except like. Except for fucking Curly. Curly was the only funny one. Shemp was me. hilarious, dude. I love Shemp. I didn't like Shemp. Oh, Mo, Shemp. Like Shemp, you, you were a Shemp I guy. I preferred him to Curly. I like Shemp Curly. Guy. Curly was actually had funny lines. Yeah, Curly did have funny like lines. When, there was one where they're being they're being proper. You know, at a proper party. Of course. And so, uh, uh, what's his name? Mo says, Oh, Curlington. And Curly says, Yesington. <laughs> like, he's making the word yes into an aristocrat. <laughs> One time he shot. Yesington? He, he shot, uh, uh, some guy, some guy's, um, toupee came off his head and, yeah. he, like, shot it. He goes, Oh, a tarantula. <laughs> and he starts, you know, he goes, You just put five shots into a divot. <laughs> Mo, I liked Mo, but he Mo was scary. Was funny, yeah. Mo scared me as a 
a kid. When I was a kid, I thought he was going to hit me and make me cry. Yeah, yeah, like Mo is the, the, the nasty one. And then once they all got old, it was just pathetic to watch them slap each other around. That's when they started bringing on, like, I'll give you such a pinch. Yes. Like that guy. And they were all, like, old Mo. And just don't uh, hurt each other anymore. Stop. Lots of make Wrinkled gray hair. Yeah. Just Watching the home. some young couple kiss. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they just end up becoming the backstory <laughs> to some fucking... Oh, they're in love. Hey, they're in love, Mo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Curly. Uh, uh, right Larry. Down. Larry was just there to get hit. Yeah, exactly. Larry added nothing uh, line-wise or anything. He was just exactly. there for Mo to beat. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite moments, was, I think it was Mo, it was Shemp did it to somebody. There's somebody was on a ladder... And, like, you know the things that you'll use to, like, uh, say, wash a window, like that type of a squeegee? Yeah. I forget who, who I, it might have been Mo who did it to Shemp, but he's on top of the ladder and Mo's on the ground, and he takes the squeegee, and he jams it up in a Shemp's face under his nose. <laughs> <laughs> and just to see a squeegee jam in his face, it was poetry. There was some great violence on there. Ah, you can't do violence now. <laughs> there was a comedian. That's the only stuff that's timeless. Violence yeah. is timeless. Violence. There was well, they're guy... taking it out of cartoons. They really... Oh, yeah, I have a yeah. problem with violence now, too. There was a comedian in Boston named Mike Donovan who was just one of, one of the, never left Boston, but he was great. And he had a bit about that there should have been one three minute episode of the Three Stooges. <laughs> <laughs> they're, like, they're, they're whatever. They're, uh, they're plumbers. And yeah. Mo says, Give me that pipe. And then he hits Curly with the pipe, and Curly goes down. <laughs> he just dies. <laughs> and, and then you see Curly Mo on the stand going, I didn't know it was going <laughs> to. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he had another thing about how the Hogan's Heroes should have been one episode, the same thing. Yeah, same thing. Just uh, Clink and the Gestapo guy are talking, and Hogan goes, yeah, but the dancing girls were great. And the yeah. Gestapo guy's, Clink, have this man shot. <laughs> and then you just, yeah. they keep, you just hear, <laughs> in the background. General Bolkata. <laughs> yes. yes, General Bolkata. <laughs> He's coming. Yeah, they'd have Gestapo come there, and Hogan would be swaggering through the POW camp. Around. Hey, hey, how you doing? Oh, I got an yeah. idea. Could you, uh, like, hang him, and then yeah. we'll shoot him? <laughs> and all of his men. Actually, first, shoot his men in front of him. Yeah. Start with the little French one. Make him fuck his sister, and then <laughs> sew, sew them together, and then kill them both. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see see if he's, he's got something funny thing. to say then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> see if he's got a witty comeback See if he's going to crack wise or try to pick up my secretary <laughs> yeah, exactly. after we uh, lop his friend's hands off. <laughs> Make him eat them. <laughs> oh, why, Hogan? Why did you do that? Back to the truck story. Oh, yeah. So when does he lose it? Right away, you're saying? Yeah. After the first sentence, you can hear his yeah, voice. Yeah, he lost it. A fire crash leaves three people dead. Police in Nebraska say a rental truck uh, carrying two people truck. lost control mm. crossed the median and collided head-on with a semi-truck. Both trucks burst into flames, and witnesses say there were several explosions. The two... <laughs> Excuse me. The two people in the room... <laughs> Oh, my God. The two people in the rental truck and the driver of the semi. This is a sad story. You don't try to finish the story. No. You don't continue to pollute their deaths with You're your That's why I, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking you, you do that. Say, you I do can't that. do this right now. You do this. Yeah. I, I'm having some problems with my throat. Can I yeah. hand this off to Nancy <laughs> yeah, or right. something? And, and you grab some water and do a spit take. You don't when laugh When she says it. they're dead. <laughs> All right, back to Sam. He laughs through it. Imagine the family might be watching that one. Well, they don't contact everyone who loves the guy. Yeah. They contact his oh wife, and that's it. Oh. So somebody who fucking really cared about the dude in the semi that's found sweet. out by a dude laughing. Ryder, why is he laughing? <laughs> that's horrible. All right, Sam. Oh, yeah. back to you in wrestling. We're back on the road. All right. Uh, Vincent McMahon. Well, yeah. So we have nothing else on Crush, right? No, just here's the, the third guy because they and were uh, to spice up. He uh, had a solo career a little for a little bit, but it wasn't stop. You know, basically yeah. we don't know who didn't he really was. pan out. His his face makeup looks a little too much like like the Ultimate Warrior as like half Ultimate Warrior. Hold on, I got an, I got an idea. Hmm? Would wrestling fan cry over this guy's death? Mm, no, probably not. If E Rock isn't crying, then E Rock, yeah. we got the crying audio for Louis. Oh, the oh, you mean that wrestling? That's guy. what I mean. If oh, wrestling fan, he would cry over this. Yeah, would he cry if, over this one? I don't know if he'd cry over. Dude, it. I don't know. He'd have to. Well, he's we'll such play. a douche. Well, it's, it's, a, seen it. it's a great video of a, a wrestling fan in the stands at some local gym, and he uh, it's he's on wooden pull-out bleachers in and, a gym, and there's four people around that him. tops. The bleachers aren't even full, and uh, here and there's some wrestlers there. 
giving you, interviews. Yeah. And he stands up and starts talking, and uh, boy, he's got some uh, some stuff to tell them, and uh, he can't quite contain himself. No. Are they talking about the rest of who died here or something? Well, he, I think he uh, he's emotional because of Owen Hart's death. Or Eddie Guerrero or something? I or, think this or, was Guerrero. Oh, this was Guerrero, right? Yeah, yes. Guerrero. Yeah. All right, so now it's like this is the benchmark. Will, mm -hmm. Would this wrestling fan cry over Crush's he's, death? He's he's right. a big fat guy. He's <laughs> fat. He's like wrestling is his life. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, hold on, this is a douche Ready for chill. This one? I just want to thank each and every one of y'all for all you've done to your bodies. <laughs> it's still real to me, damn it! I'll be. Thank you. <laughs> thank y'all guys. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Funk, for saying what needed to be said. I don't want to see another one of these. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know oh, my God. I loved I looked at Louie during that, and I just loved the look of disgust on Louie's face when he was like, you're broken. Oh, God. It's like, oh, what is what is he doing? Uh, Do you know what would be perfect? As he's talking, if out of frame, a shotgun just entered and uh, blasted his head off. Yes. <laughs> no, he just made his death unsad. <laughs> he just made his life so crying dispensable. <laughs> crying it wrestling. It should be like a rule, like if Un you do something that dumb, you just become branded as murderable. That's it. <laughs> like it just, anyone be, should be able to just wipe him out. Just, yeah. Just to, you got, then you have to be careful how you fucking act. <laughs> Because if yeah. you do something that dumb, then you just get up. Well, it's like registering as a sex offender. <laughs> yeah. When you move to a new tenure, it's, it's okay to murder me. You won't go to jail. Yeah. No, one, no one's going to care. No one cares fat, about me. Useless in the old, I am. In the old days, you used to be able to make an, <laughs> a complete an ass of yourself, and yep. it just passed. It was yep. a moment. Yep. And maybe a couple of people had still pictures, maybe a grainy piece of audio tape at most. Mm -hmm. Now that guy is forever. He's on the Opie and Anthony show. Going to be right. It's huge. Um, he is we had him on. We had him on. We beat, really? him yeah. oh, we beat him up. We beat him up pretty good. Uh, Forever going to be have on the internet. Do you remember about what happened? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You have to, uh, or else you'll you Dave, shoot yourself. Dave from Manhattan, he writes, uh, wrestling, crying wrestling uh, fan would, would cry if he found out that Vince McMahon wasn't a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> he, he would pretty much say uh, what needs to be said. A billionaire, actually. Oh, yeah, he, he would cry at everything. So what are we saying? He wouldn't cry over Crush's death? He wasn't a legend. He was more of a kitschy. All right. Mm -hmm. Kitschy. Hey, before yeah. I put uh, the old you. crying oh. CD back was in. like the Louis Soho of wrestling, sort of. Um... <laughs> oh, Louis Soho, old Bassett hound face. <laughs> yeah. He's a good player, though. He's a good little he utility fine. player, but his face is 240 be every year, did fine. Nice fucking, a nice hot waffle yeah. plate against his exactly. <laughs> little fat face. A little better than I would have been, basically. Let's put the, before we put this back in its uh, CD case, we got to play Mike Schmidt, because it's out. It's out in here. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Before we put it back in the archive. The crying audio. Mike Schmidt retiring. Some 18 years ago, I left Dayton, Ohio, with two very bad knees. And a dream to become a major league baseball player. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> Who's laughing? I think God, this dream came true. <laughs> Those are the two anchors that were watching a model, runway model, fall down on one of their reports. <laughs> really? She fell down. <laughs> And they couldn't stop laughing. They played it over and over again. It was like they were doing a stupid radio show. Do we have to play that now for Louis? It's very. Uh, do you have the models? Yep. All right, we got that one. We're <laughs> e Rock is working really it's hard. Sound clip. Uh, I know, but Tuesday. Louis hasn't seen a lot of these. You got it? Yep. All right, again. This is Fashion Week over in Paris. The latest fashions are on the runway for next spring. But How she falls, too. Out there today. She does it twice. One of the British designers' shows had the difficulty. A model fell down twice. That's her going down once. A young woman wearing that pink skirt and the orange platform shoes. Never fall. quite recovered after that. There she goes. <laughs> <laughs> that had to hurt. That was uncool. That's embarrassing. This is at least the second time. <laughs> well, you all are just really tickled by that, aren't you? You try walking in those shoes. Mine. First of all, baby, I got enough meat on me that it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Don't die. This, Come we, on, we want to apologize. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> We're in no, the world. Hold on, hold on. Like, it's coming again. <laughs> Where in the world is that? What's... DC. It's in Washington. Oh, DC. that's yeah. awesome. I love what's, those what's, guys. What's great about it is the wobble that she does trying to yeah. hold it. It's Keep herself from it's falling. It's like a newborn It is fawn. one of the funniest falls you'll see. It's yeah. great. Because she really tries hard not to fall down as she wobbles back and oh. forth I, I uncontrollably. Like, he knew he was laughing, and he still said, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here it comes again. Look right here. We apologize, but don't don't pause it. i got to see <laughs> he this He wasn't again. a broadcaster. He was just a fucking guy uh, yes. watching a chick fall, so fall down and laughing his balls laugh. off over uh, By the way, Mike from Minnesota, Louie needs to buy an XM radio. <laughs> the yeah. the, really the listeners are sick of us replaying the yeah, thing. Sorry, guys. <laughs> just for Louie. you got to play for Louie. You know what's weird? That it happens on the show though it's just like what people do out there you you have something cool you got to share you with your friends show your pals. And we know a lot of the people listening right now have heard these clips a lot of times but it's like we get yeah. excited that we get to play yeah. for Louie for the yeah. first time no and i listen to this show too and, we, and i, I, I listen all it's the time. just a joke i just enjoy hearing them still i don't know what it is about yeah. me i'm retarded oh uh, now they're requesting gay weather man you you've, you've seen gay weather no, man no. Oh. gay oh, weather maybe oh, I have. Maybe I have. That? we're never going to get to the Vince thing which one's uh, gay weather man with the cockroach Oh yeah, oh, I have heard that. Oh, oh, where he screams. Right, finally stopped. What about yeah. Angry Katrina uh weatherman? Angry Katrina where he was trying to uh tell uh the weather and he was going on a little too long. Getting interrupted. And right. the anchor woman was trying to like cut him off because oh, yeah, yeah. Cause it was Katrina and the weatherman like freaked out thinking it was all about them, like it was their day to shine, man. <laughs> I'm a weatherman, I'm a meteorologist, this is my day. We're you know, keep your other stories away. And and he got so into these details about barometric pressure. No one gave a flying fuck right. about that. The anchor was like politely trying to step in there. Right. Oof. He Lost. didn't appreciate. I it. haven't heard that. You got that one, E. E. E to the he's, R. He's looking for that. E to the R. E to the rock. I go E to the R to the O to the C to nice. the K. It takes a while. To the O. C. That way. To the O C. O -C. Fills time. It's O. To the O C. Right. E to the R to, to the, the O C. O -C. Rock. Mm -hmm. Coming to back with to the, the K. K. Yeah. Everyone seems to be able to come up with cool little names for themselves with initials and two names for one. Yeah. I know there's uh, Oak's got one that. Um, what do I got? Well, the team. <laughs> team. The team. The you team? know, you, you and your girlfriend. No, I don't. Oh, I like that. No, That's I don't. A fantastic. No, I don't. I don't have that. You do. That's the team. He nah. calls them. No, no, no. Themselves well, uh, the team? I've heard... No, no, I don't have... That. I've heard a club that. soda Kenny use it a lot. Yeah. Well, they combine their names. They, they, they combine their last team. names no, we don't. together, no, and, no, and that's no. what he calls... Team that, you mean? Like yes. it's Like it's a real Yeah, team? yeah, and like, it's a combination say, uh, of the two last yeah. names. They're just lying. Yeah, it's... No, 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 no not no. lying. Not at all. Yeah, but what happened is... No. Uh, hey, you're an honorary member. I am. Of course I'm. Well, we went to Detroit. I'm proud to be an honorary member. I love being a member. Of what? Team Hugo. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I'm a proud member. <laughs> yeah. We know Opie's uh, last name. We won't say Lindsay's, obviously, but it's a combination of the two names. So it comes out Hughes. Hugo. Is, is Hughes is the Hughes first one. And, and then, yeah. So it's yeah. Team Hugo. It's like, oh. where would Team Hugo like to eat dinner? <laughs> this evening, <laughs> like it's a secret service. Yeah, right. Team yeah. Hugo. But the best is when we will say something. I say we because I'm a member. Uh, we'll say uh, honorary member. I don't know. I still want to be a full time. Mm. Team Hugo uh, moving out. Right, right. And then just start walking. Right. Team Hugo moving out. Right. It's time to go. Look how red Obi is. <laughs> He's getting a little warm. Uh, Jared from Atlanta writes, Hey, why don't you guys show uh, Louis C.K. the one where Kennedy got shot? <laughs> That's yeah, that old. Was... That is a good one to watch. All right, here's, the, uh, enhanced. here's the CNN weather guy. He's a bit uh, He's a bit on the bitchy side. I, I, on I, edge. It's his day. He used to be on TV when I would get up in the morning and watch a little TV. I'm Not like, anymore, huh? I don't know if he is. I haven't checked out CNN in a while. Uh, go. But the storm was 902 millibars. 902 was shit. the That's lowest exactly. that you had with the storm a couple of hours ago. So it has filled in. There, a could you bit. pause for a second? Filled in with some air. No, yeah. Dillabars. Okay. You know what it is, too? It's right, like, man. this is Katrina. Yeah. So they want to show pictures of 
masses yeah, of black people out of their homes yeah, yeah. and uh, floodwaters. Yeah. That's what they want to show. Helicopters no. pulling people out of roofs. You want to see the guy that was outside of the Superdome pointing at a corpse at in the a corpse. wheelchair and saying, yeah. I wouldn't treat my dog like this. Right. That was, they want to get Katrina. right back yeah. to that Not coverage. Millibars. So they go to the weather guy and yeah. he's he's talking like millibars and stuff. <laughs> and, the, the, and the woman's like, you know, the producer, uh, the director's in her ear going, yeah. get off this guy. Yeah. Let's go yeah. back to the action. Right. Find yeah. a way out. But this Fast. guy thinks he's the shit. Uh, people suggested I change the team name to Team Douche Chill. Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Sorry. Thanks. Didn't mean that inadvertent kicking your ass <laughs> under the bus, Hope. Thank you. <laughs> team Douche. <laughs> team douche. Hugo, you're a queer. <laughs> right. Now you know why I was... Turning red. Douche chill. Right. Douche chill? <laughs> yeah. That's uh, the apparent uh, shiver that a woman will get when that cold water goes up oh, into her pussy. Oh, I've never heard that before. She gets a chill. Yeah. Wow. A little douche-type chill. Wow. Is that a real thing? I think it's, uh, I you could equate it on the male side with um, what you call a piss shiver. Piss yeah. shiver. You ever take a piss and that's warm yeah. liquid leaving your body? Right. So you kind of, as you're pissing, you go like, <laughs> you get that. Uh, right. That's kind of what a douche chill would feel like. Uh, but for women that don't douche, it's just it's a it's a stink shiver because the stink <laughs> that leaves their right. They go <laughs> stink leaves their box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, oh, women have, they have it's to, a dry heave. They're so foul they have to spray foreign liquid into their cunts. Livable, livable. Could you clean out that fucking that garbage? Or for women that box? don't uh, do it and their husbands don't like it, it's a box kick wince. <laughs> <laughs> the, the wince they give when they're. Husband's you know what, oh, box. You know what a cunt is? It's a fucking, it's a garbage barge folded over like a, a fucking Dorito. Or, or, or no, a fucking burrito. That's what it is. It's a folded yeah. up barge of garbage mm -hmm. with fucking, with, a, with an afro Can, on the end of it. Oh, pelicans <laughs> flying around it. Yeah, and, exactly. Fucking, That's what a cunt is. It's Staten it is. Island folded up like a piece of pizza. It is. But you can't even <laughs> clean it out with a giant magnet because nothing's metal in there, unfortunately. No, it's all just, you don't. It's all fetid. <laughs> you don't appreciate the, the woman. The finer parts of a woman. They have to fire a fucking, like, a, just liquid in there to clean it out. <laughs> got to fucking spray for wasps just to get near it. <laughs> you need that long-distance oh. hornet spray. You fuck Why? it first. <laughs> like, yeah. after when I don't work on my Mustang for about <laughs> six months in the summer. And they'll make nests a, under there, yeah, gotta go under the with, hood. Yep. Need that long range. All right, back to the season, uh, weatherman. Yeah. With the, what is it, the, the billow... Dillabars. Uh, uh, Dillabar Mil 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 Millabars. Millabars. It's dildo bars of pressure. Ah, uh, Sam's still standing there with his headphones uh, on. Uh, <laughs> uh, how awkward do you feel? <laughs> Here's more of the uh, weatherman. <laughs> more Dillabars. It's filled in a little bit, filled in with some air, okay, not so as lower Chad, pressure, Chad, but Camille. Chad, but, but, let me Trans talk, Carol. Translate that for us. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Well, if you would let me talk. Okay. Camille, Camille was 908. And so this is actually now not as strong as Camille, but not really as strong as it's been. 908, I'm, I'm walking over here because you're, uh, I can have this chart, but it's not in front of me. 908 millibars is 26.81 inches of mercury. This storm got down to 26.61, and right now it's 26.98. Now, if you would go to your home barometer that you have, it's probably a big circle hanging on your wall. Home you barometer? Eyes. If you go look at that, that is completely off the screen. Rarely would you ever have to have a barometer that would go that low in the northern hemisphere, unless you were obviously trying Nobody to. Nobody has a barometer, you fucking right. gay Thank cunt. You, All right, just having fun with you this morning. <laughs> just having fun with you this morning. Like, like no, you can't even not. be honest right. and, and just say, hey. look, it's my moment to shine with my mercury, hey, my if, inches of mercury. If we're going to go down this road now, we got to go with anchor people that fight. Oh, I want to hear that one. we got two really good ones. But that guy... Got so flustered after she yeah. like told oh. him off that he couldn't get anything. I've walked over to this chart now, and the the you mill really, millibar really mean, no. inches. This was twenty eight inches of mercury. This the oh. people stutter for a reason. Yeah, he's his heart was racing. He anger. was fucked. She fucked him he over. He pulled that ear so bit, he the ear bit off really hard and said, yeah. "If that cunt talks to me again, next time there's a catastrophic <laughs> hurricane, I want my I want my rights." Yes. 
I mm, bet you she cuts bars. his balls off all the time at yeah. work, too. Like, yeah. fucking hell, you have a Pepsi. It's like, oh, Chad, don't you know Coke is what men drink? <laughs> but he thought he had something for real for once. No one like, that city, that city was wiped out so I could show off my community college education. Yeah, right. watch me talk about, like, the barometer. Yeah. Find your home one. It's probably that round Dude. thing on the wall. And then yeah. you look around and go, fuck, that's been a barometer all this time? Dude, we had, I've been clock. getting to work we by, had, like, 96 <laughs> inches of mercury. We had one on a lamp in our living room, and that stupid oh. thing barely moved. It went from here to here. Did it seem fair? Shit. Stormy? Yeah, exactly. That's what you need. If you're going to go out and, and uh, go cr crabbing, right, if you're right. on the deadliest catch, you need a barometer. Basically, yeah. if it went off the charts, you just knew you were fucked. The apocalypse was happening. <laughs> Even barometer things. makers made just funny things on their barometers. <laughs> they realized. You put numbers no on there. The yeah, the Not fuck? fit for men hey. or beast. <laughs> Reading from Whack Bag, this will end the whole team thing. Opie, how about you name your team after you and her ages? So you could be Team 15. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Uh, All right. Uh, we got. By the way, if you can't find your barometer at home, look in that fucking, look in that foldic, folded septic tank <laughs> that your gal calls a twat. It's probably fallen like in there. Caved in septic. <laughs> what is your problem with women today, I Jimmy? Love, no, no, I love women. I'm just oh. saying a vagina that needs to be douched. <gasps> oh, one that That's needs all. to be douched. Yeah, I'm yes. saying a stinky. I thought you were saying <laughs> an unkempt any vagina. I want to clarify. I thought you were like any oh, vagina. No, 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 he's talking about it, an unkempt we fucking about that wild woman of pussy. Of course, then I wholeheartedly agree. Yeah, no, no, no. A I'm filthy talking... pussy. No, that's what I, in general, I think the word cunt is a weird word for a vagina because the vagina, a decent one anyway, is like yeah. little flower petals. Like you hear a piccolo in your head when you see a vagina. Yeah, yeah. Diddly. Nice flower petals. And then they say cunt. <laughs> yeah. That I, if it, I may jump in, then look yeah. and think think of a pool slide that's been left under a tree, that's and all right. that stuff fell on it, and you got to yeah. hose it down. Yeah, it exactly. kind of looks like that as you're just shoving water up that. Yeah, <laughs> no, or like a water. giant vagina that's eating a town, and the the <laughs> national guard is shooting at it, and it's not helping at all. <laughs> Even when you're fucking a healthy looking one, you pull your dick out, it's got like fucking little milk marks around it. You're like, what happened? <laughs> you pussy up, manic depressed, taking fucking Haldol. It's got like white shit that fucking manic depressors get in their mouth. I get a fucking milk ring on the end of my dick, you slime bucket. <laughs> Jesus. You're a fucking chicken that's got those, those slug snots on it. <laughs> white slug, slug boogies. <laughs> Uh, oh, God. Hey, you fucking hose this hole out, please. <laughs> we got uh, we got anchor fights. Ah, oh, we, we should start with. Uh, I love these anchors. Let's just go, go the, at each other. The L.A. ones. Uh, th that's the big get. So let's yeah. go with Bill Evans. Uh, weather guy Bill Evans arguing with the anchor while Lori Stokes just sits there. Uh, yeah, the anchor. Wait, the anchor and the weather guy go at it over the name of Trump's wife. Okay, here it is. Oh, yeah. Have you seen this? Mm -hmm. This is the new dress. Yeah, something old, something new, and something that costs about a hundred grand. Here's a look at the wedding dress made for supermodel Melania Nels, the former or the future Miss. <laughs> Let's wait, wait, go over that name again, Steve. Alice. What was that? You know what? Why don't you do it, Bill? No, I'm not the anchor. Steve. Melania, right? Why don't you go over? Why don't no, you do it? I'm not the anchor. Well, you know what? Then, then I'll pipe down over <laughs> well, there during well, the video. Well, well, then you? what then, Steve? Go ahead, do it, Bill. Uh, it has 300 feet of satin. <laughs> if you're not the anchor, then don't interrupt me. <laughs> I just, I wanted to know. Now, what if you're said. not the anchor, then go, don't. baby, go, go. The gown was designed by John Galliano for Christian Dior, <laughs> and the bride plans another dress of your wedding design after the couple's first dance. The wedding is set for Saturday. Why don't you give it a shot, there, Bill? Hey, I'm just representing the audience. I'm just I, I representing, heard, I heard representing the audience. Yeah, just, <laughs> my bad. I, my just, bad. I'm sorry, Bill. I'm not looking for an apology. I know. I'm, so I'm just I'm saying, sorry. would you like to take another shot? No, I wouldn't. I, 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 I can't take a shot at it. That's why I do the weather. I don't read that stuff. Right. It is so cold. It is out. cold. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Over here, too. He fence mending cunt. She really is. <laughs> How many times she had to explain why her mother had a black eye? <laughs> oh, Dad oh, fell. Dad, he's okay. It's all right. Fucking codependent slob. <laughs> Why don't you just let the two men duke it out? <laughs> oh, it's cold out! <laughs> and the guy goes, it's cold in here, too. Exactly. A little honesty, at least, out of the two anchors. <laughs> yeah, oh, God so damn. Fast. That back <laughs> boy. Why don't you do it, Billy? Hey, Billy. Well, you want to take another shot at it? Take another shot at it. I'll take a shot at you, you son of a fuck. <laughs> we lucked out on that one. We were just rolling tape. Yeah, we just happened to be that rolling one, tape watching. We used to watch them every That one morning. didn't make YouTube or anything, that no, one. That's, that's awesome. a great one. And, and Bill, Bill Evans won that war. That's great because yeah. uh, Steve yeah. is now gone. He's not yeah. uh, on oh, the station. Oh, is he gone? Name. Yeah. 
They're both kind of right. Yeah. They're both sort of yeah, right. Yeah, the weatherman should have kept his fucking mouth shut. Yeah. The guy kind of stumbled over some words. Yeah. Who cares? It's not this show yeah, where no. we pick it every little fucking thing <laughs> yeah, anyone does wrong. Exactly. And right. uh, and the the anchor, I don't know, he, sh he should have just shut up. Too. It's good that he stuck up for himself, though. You don't let a guy just... He did. And then Bill... He thought he would make the little comment, you want to take another try, and, hit, and then the anchor would go, hey, yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, and he went, no, I, yeah, why don't you, you, why do, you do it? Why don't you do it, Billy? There's a lot of fuck well, the weather. It's not my job. I, I... All right, here we go. Here's the big get. This is from 1994. It's out there in L.A., KABC. Uh, this is the two anchors going at it just before they right go before live. Right before live. Oh, so how did they get so it? Was just obviously, obviously some guy that didn't like oh, the anchors yeah. and said, you know what? Did uh, it went on the air or did uh, No, no, no. no. Their mics leaked. were live, so they're, they're rolling tape right. forever. And, uh, yeah. And, and Some engineer smuggled this one awesome. out. And said, fuck, this is too good. Yeah, it's obvious when they go to, to air. Mm -hmm. First segment. It's done that way all the time. It That's frequently what I was told. is. It frequently well, is. Well, then we better Do you talk hear me about complaining it. about it. Then we better tonight talk I'm about it. Tonight I'm complaining because tonight I said. Then we better hey. talk about it because I think I you've got a problem. I think we've got a problem. All right. If that's what you think, then we'll talk about it after the show, and we'll talk about it with Roger Bell. Because I'm not going to sit here night after night and put up with this shit. <laughs> okay. Night after night. Night after night? Well, Where, that, what, it let's, looks how to I, me like that's the way it's going to go, I'll take Anne. the ante up a little higher than that, even. Mm. You're not only wrong, you're way out of line. Let me tell you something. You get started it, pal. You want Harold Green, you might get him. That's fine then, with then, me. Fine oh, is with it really? me. Good old oh. Harold Green. Okay. Okay. You want to start dealing with shit? Go ahead. <laughs> that's what you want. You just might get it. You know, you go home and have a couple of shooters, and I don't know what the fuck happens, but when you come back, you're not the same lady. That's not true. Some nights it is, Ann. When news happens, you see it on Channel 7. <laughs> the number one station for news and information in Southern California. Mm. Now, mm. Paul Moyer, Ann Martin, Johnny Mountain Weather, and Todd Donahoe Sports. This is Eyewitness News tonight. Three men dead tonight in an execution style <laughs> room in Los Angeles. <laughs> there he goes. Right into it, man. That guy's a professional. Uh, just imagine it's like an old fucking married couple just sitting there. That was good. at each other. That was a good one. That was he good because... He accuses her of drinking. That's right. And she keep, they both keep their cool. Yeah. Neither of them stumbles. No. Like, she's totally confident. She's like Conley Way Rice. out of line. Not but, only... I'll take the ante up. I'll, I'll take the ante <laughs> up a so bit. Good. What about the pounding of the yeah. table? Oh. Wow. He's like, and I don't know who Harold Green is, but that's an oh, awesome. Boy. You want Harold? You want I Harold love Green? Invoking that name. Oh boy, big, I don't think you want to be in front of that guy. The great <laughs> Harold anything. Green. <laughs> Good old Harold Green. Oh, good old Harold Green. And then yeah. there's a pause where the fight's really over, and then he decides to go. Yeah. You go home, and you get a couple of shooters in you. And a then... couple of shooters in you? <laughs> yeah, she's like, fuck this. I need a drink. I picture her looking like uh, oh. like Dean Wormer's wife <laughs> doing a couple of shooters. Yeah. Fuck it. I have the goddamn senior honors dinner tonight. Breaking news, breaking news, breaking yes. news. We need a breaking news sweeper. We don't have one. And Sam's still standing there with his headphones ah, on. Looking silly. Waiting to talk again. <laughs> you, want, you need a hostess cupcake, a little fruit. <laughs> is, are your legs getting tired? No, Aww. fine. Uh, yeah, Drudge is reporting radio host Don Imus has agreed to settle with CBS for $20 million. Holy gee. And a non-disparaging clause, legal sources claim. The move opens the possibility Imus will soon return to the airwaves, possibly on WABC in New York. Yeah. Developing. Yeah. Developing. Wait, let me ask no. a question. Wow, it is on the front page of Drudge right there. Yep. Did they owe him 40 or 50 million? Because he got his first year's They pay. owed him uh, uh, 40, um, 40 to 50, million. yeah. Yeah. He got half of it and he gets to move on and, and make more for somebody else. Yep. It's not a bad deal. Not at all. $20 million. $20 million. $20 million. He just made twenty million for saying not yet at all. <laughs> yes, he did twenty million and out of his contract. If you think Jesus. about it, that, if yep. you think about it, in the end, twenty million for for because, nothing because that wow he would have had re-signing for probably more re-signing for a minimum of five a year, way Whatever. more than he would have made if nothing happened because he would have right. he's dwindling now. He's not grow, but now he'll grow. Well, I'll, now it it, it it boosted his career. Yeah, mm -hmm. he was on the other side of it, absolutely. But yep. now, for the next year, people all are going to want to hear what he has to say. Sure. Wait, how long do you think he'll have to sit for? Like, would he? Would that, that, might, that might be year? in it? 
I'll probably uh, – well, they've been hinting that he's going to come back in January, so someone already knew that he probably has like a four- or five-month uh, uh, no, no compete. For that settlement, though, that might be September, something where they say, November, look, December. we'll give you $20 million. you got to sit out. Remember what they did to us? Dude, he's already sat out, and another four or five months will take him to January. Because everyone's starting to say he's coming back in January. But he just It'll signed. It'll be retroactive to something. He had just signed. What if they make him, They give him that money, but make him sit out for the rest of his contract? He, would, he, would he didn't agree. get all the money. He, he wouldn't agree? All, he wouldn't agree to that. He's, he's like 60-something. He can't wait five more years. No, he just yeah. signed a five-year deal. What if it was a year? Dude, he had a good case, too, man. Yeah, I know. He had a really good no, case. So. Yeah, though. So there was he had a lot of negotiating you know, power on his about side. The, that his contract said he had to be controversial. <laughs> like yeah, had and no had choice. to be warned. Right, and, right. Yeah, there were all kinds of things. That, so he uh, said, "No way, I'm going to go for the whole lump." And they said, "All right, how about this? We'll give you half." It looks like it's about half of what they owed him, maybe a little yeah. less than half. And maybe said, "Look, instead of sitting out the five years, we're going to make you sit out another four or five months, and then you could go." And and because they've been saying January, 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 January is the winter book. I know this is a little inside for people, but uh, the fall book is really important for well, everybody. Well, let me explain why. See, 26.5 inches of mercury <laughs> is when the fall book is. If I could, if I could, let me talk. Oh, the point. Bars. A cunt. No, because <laughs> stupid Chad. These little things have been coming servicing the last few weeks, and everyone's been saying January, January, January. So that's probably it. You probably want them sitting yep. for four months. Yep. Where are we at? Like yeah. August, so September. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh -huh. yeah, another four yeah. months, four yeah. and a half yeah. months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. Would it be funny if he came back? He just trashed us and shit talked us and destroyed us in the ratings. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Opie and Anthony, uh, they're, they're uh, uh, hacks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got a lot of cowboy hats with twenty million dollars, baby. Nice. Baby. He's going to have some nice things to say about us when he gets back on. Is he? Yeah. Well, let me tell you what I think of that man. He's an old mm. codger. Mm. Yeah. So now we're going to have to really compete with him when he comes back because a lot of people are going to be tuning him in. Mm. And Sam still stands there. <laughs> he has nothing to say. <laughs> uh, uh, matter, Sam. I'll ask you, what do you, th what do you think of uh, the new... Do you like the direction of Vince is going in or do you not like it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like it. No one cares. Oh. Oh. Here's the clip because uh, some people... This is what Vince had to do. What what happened, Sam? Let's get it over with. Well, last week we found out that Vince, uh, there was a paternity suit that uh, oh. Vince has an illegitimate child oh. by somebody, and he doesn't know who the child is, and he doesn't know who the woman is. That is impossible. What? His many discrepancies throughout his lifetime. Um, Did he wait. fuck Pat Patterson and the Duker? <laughs> and the Duker. <laughs> and the Dukey. <laughs> and we found out last night that he lost his virginity at the age of 12, so it could be wow, have anybody. He wait. said that? Yes. But this is all being... Wait, he lost his virginity at 12... <laughs> Well, well, this is all being them. written by WWF writers, isn't it? Isn't this all just no, it's real. No, this is real. Oh, Wait. God, oh, sure. sure it is. Sure. You know what, Dad? You're sick. You're absolutely sick. You're the one who faked your own death, then got slapped with a paternity suit by a woman you don't even know. Bad acting. Very bad. So it's been horrible. She's very good. Shut up. See, earlier today, I came from the plaintiff's attorney's office. She did. And it seems as though your illegitimate It seems child, as though... My half-brother or sister is standing around this ring right now. Was Vince making a face like, Oh, I, 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 I don't out. believe it! Is a WWE superstar. He's a wrestler. Congratulations. One of the wrestlers is Vince's son. Oh we don't know God. who. Come here, baby boy. <laughs> There's going to be a big alliance once they hook up. Oh, this no. is my new family. You can go to hell. Coco beware. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, no. Deep dark secret about to be revealed. That's right. I got jungle fever. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird when you when you see it during the wrestling matches when they play backstage things. Yeah. yeah. And it's something in an office where <laughs> some guy, I'm a lawyer from this company. I'm talking loud for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> We're in a little office, but I'm handing you these things. These yeah. documents. Oh, my God. And there's cables around and lights because nobody cleaned the setup. And the guys always so some want to be like uh, yeah. someone that's in the organization as a wrestler. Yeah. So they're always too big to be what they are. The suit. Hi, I'm the eye doctor. I'm here to examine uh, one of the guys. And he's got like pythons. Yeah, no, it's like porn. Wow, that guy's yeah, like yeah. porn. I've got a mask tattooed to my face, but uh, I'm an optometrist. <laughs> Which one's my boy? Who do you think it is, Sam? Yeah. 
It could be anyone. Oh, my oh, God. Come on. Help now, us out Now, wait a minute. Little. This is the same fucking gag as the car yeah. blew up. They yeah. just took the car blew up. Yeah. And because remember, that was, it could have been any one of the wrestlers. And so they, they brought them all out and were like, who blew up Vince? Right. And then we'll when, kill Vince. when or, Benoit uh, went, decided to go loco and, and, kill, and kill his kill family and himself, they couldn't do the death angle. So Vince comes back and, the and they come up with a new angle to a mystery that involves yeah. all the wrestlers. But it's the same. Yeah, it's the same, same thing. Is who faking, is it? Faking his death being outed by reality of Benoit's death yeah. should destroy the whole thing. But they, well, it, they it doesn't matter. It goes on. Who? Whose mother did I fuck? It could literally be called Who did I fuck? Fake, re <laughs> fake wrestling. This is all fake. I swear to God. And they would still. Wait, you're Who whose mommy did I tell? <laughs> Get on your knees. Get on your hands and knees and bark like a dog. <laughs> he loves doing that. We love the over-the-top Vince. It's take fun. off your bra and take it off now. Right. <laughs> I'm going to fuck the shit out of you. <laughs> Who's my baby boy? <laughs> and I'm going to do it bareback. That's right. No rubber. That's right. My sperm flip. <laughs> 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 uh, so you have no idea. No. Well, he said he faked his own death. Because who looks like Vince? Yeah, who they gotta look like each other, right? Well, How, uh, no, it's gonna be Triple H, and then that makes it oh even no. sicker. Oh because... my God! Because then this Triple H is married to his daughter, right? Oh, which no. would make some big yeah. incestuous well, sick trying, thing. Well, they're trying oh, to get oh, uh, yeah. ratings That'd up in good. Alabama. <laughs> That'd be good. Finally, he did look long and hard at Mr. Kennedy. Who the fuck is Mr. Kennedy? George Kennedy, the actor? <laughs> <laughs> Loved him in those airplane movies. I pride myself in movies. knowing some of these guys, but Mr. who the fuck Kennedy. is Mr. Kennedy? Mr. Kennedy is a big uh, superstar right now. Ooh. Is he? Dr. Yeah. Kennedy. He has his wig removed with a shotgun whenever he enters the <laughs> ring. <laughs> or in the kitchen on the way in. They shoot him. <laughs> they, 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 so it's him? No, I'm saying it could be. It could oh. be the Miz. The Miz was in Detroit. It could be him. Why it, didn't we ask the him? The Miz is a big fan of the Opie and Anthony show. He yeah. wrote all about now, the virus tour on his blog. I just, I read it, it can't be someone old. We know it's not well, like he lost his virginity at 12. And how old is Vince? He's got to be uh, 60. Uh, uh, you're just stalling. I just, I just got to communicate. So they're doing this so it could be anybody. No, I got I, I to oh. communicate. Sorry to stop you in your tracks, oh, yes. but uh, it's coming in. Ask Sam how Mr. Kennedy in introduces himself, and supposedly he could do the yell, whatever the yell is. Well, he just shouts his name. Well, how? You know, hear it. Let's hear it. He goes, Mr. Kennedy! Kennedy. Oh my God! <laughs> this guy is not real. <laughs> no, what he the doesn't. Fuck. No, he doesn't. Yeah, yeah. The, the mic comes down from the ceiling, like and an old like boxer. An old school, yeah. yeah. He pushes the ring announcer out of the way. He won't let him anybody else <laughs> he announce him. himself. Yeah. Oh. Wow, that's terrific, Sam. It gets the crowd moving. Oh, I bet. A lot yeah. of people are suggesting that uh, uh, Vince's son is the Undertaker. That Vince like, fuck it. <laughs> oh fuck the dead or something. <laughs> went to the cemetery. So they made they made him lose his virginity at twelve, so, so that it could so be it could anybody. Be, yes, yeah, and then be. there's no one old enough to be like fifty and no. and wrestling. And well, Ric Flair was standing right behind him right after he said twelve, and they said that means it could be anyone. And then Ric Flair was standing right there, but I think Ric Flair is a bit out of the age range. Maybe it'd be his son. So. Possibility. Although uh, Ric Flair uh, looks a little bit like this, Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Yeah, Kennedy is that like him? Yeah. version. Looks like a young. Can we hear it? Uh, is there relation? Is there a relationship there? <laughs> no, no, no. Let's see how good of an impression. Uh, yeah, here's Sam did. Let's go. Oh, what a douchebag. What do you mean? Douchebag. <laughs> Mr. Kennedy is a big superstar. Wait, Mr. Kennedy's a tool. Wait, this is a retarded character? Eugene? Yeah, well, Eugene he is. is. Uh, <laughs> he's special needs. Oh, Stop uh, it. There's a retarded oh. wrestler? Oh, he comes out oh. in a superhero outfit. <laughs> oh, Come on. All right, find it, him. Is find that Vince's son, you wow, think? the no, layers. He actually he plays uh, Eric Bischoff's nephew. That's how he got the job. Yeah. But it, so it, there's too many... Oh, too many relations there? He just does other wrestlers' moves because he's such a big fan. He does. Yeah. So it's probably the retarded one, then. Does, does he talk funny? Yes, he does. Do we have any of uh, him? Oh, no. Oh. I didn't even know what's going on with the uh, no, we can check WWE out. these days. My God. I'm going to have to start watching. What a yeah. calamity. Wow. i got to find out whose uh, son is 
is Vince's. Yeah. Oof. Who even needs the wrestling part? Yeah. Oh. That's crime time there with you. Crime time? And super crazy. Could it be crime time? Yo, all the numbers. All the numbers, baby. Yo, yo, you want to be in a row? What sort of money? You want to be in a row? What number you want? It's for arena? Yeah, it's for arena. You want a number? Yeah, give me any number. Any number? Because I am super. He's super. I am crazy. He's crazy. I am super crazy. He's super crazy. Come on in here. He's got Rich Voss's old haircut. Yeah. Yeah. And mental Mucho capacity. Dinero. Dinero. Mucho dinero. Come on, come on. Come on. He's Mexican? He looks like yeah. Jay London, doesn't he? Yes. Come on, come on. Come on. They're taking advantage of this. Uh, That's crime time. Of this, uh, uh, he's a retarded Mexican guy with the Mexican flag on his chest. No, that's Eugene. That's, oh. the, that's the slow one. Oh, here he is. Okay. Uh-huh. You want to be in a Okay, Eugene. You got any money, Eugene? Come on, bro. You got um, Come on, Eugene. You got money. Oh, my God. They're acting retarded because they're talking to a retarded guy? Yeah. They had a cast retard, by the way. This guy passed the audition, audition to be a uh, retard wrestling. Oh, my God. Did you special? I got a special number for you. Yeah. Bam! Oh! 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 oh. Yeah. I never dirty! I never dirty! Yes! You can, you can, you can. At least not a good number in the Royal Rumble. No good number! No, 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 not in the Royal Rumble. You can. You want to be number one. We can make you number one. Oh my God! Why? It's crazy. It's a really old version of a retarded person too that he leaves out. He talks like a caveman because retarded people don't talk like that. No, me got good number. They don't talk like that's how they made fun of them in the forties. Me got good number. Good number. No, retarded people. They just talk slow like this. They don't. They don't leave words out and talk like a. Fucking prehistoric humans. Fish Bakey! Uh, <laughs> coming in. Fish Bakey. Fish Bakey! That's Grizz Few, I guess. Last names are for dummies. Thank you. From Massachusetts. Let's do line of the day and get the vote. So they haven't uh, gotten any crap for uh, the, having a retarded uh, He's special. He's not retarded. Oh, okay. You do oh, that shit on the radio, yeah. you get the special interest Dunsky. groups going nuts. But, uh, you know, Vince could kill wrestlers or <laughs> and yeah. whatever the fuck And that's on national like, television. <laughs> that's all over TV. Yeah, like regular family television. He gets away with murder. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Team literally. Hugo. <laughs> Hugo. Hey, hey, hey. Hugo. Hey. You had your fun. You had your fun. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> we got lines of the day? Yes, three runners. All right, here's a runner-up. Are you ready, E-Rock? Yep. E-Rock had a bad day today. Oh, yeah. He's had a bad day since fucking 2004. <laughs> it's about time you had a good day. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Suck. Amish beard <laughs> flesh neck. <laughs> 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 Here's a, uh, yes. Bill Rizzuto has died. Yeah. Oh, ah. what, a, what a shock. The I scooter. Th- the scooter. What'd he die of? Old age. The, I like that the old. Yankees have to confirm it like he's their yeah. property. Yeah, what yeah. the fuck? Like, it's not the Rizzuto it's Confirmed family. by the Yankees. <laughs> it's just an, another move by the Yankees this year. <laughs> <laughs> Before the trade deadline. They're going to use a prostate. <laughs> they decided to let him die <laughs> so they can bring in Whitey Ford as a consultant. <laughs> His prostate's going to be used the fucking pitching rosin. <laughs> <laughs> you know how he died? A fucking mule kicked him through the front window of the money store. <laughs> the money store. That's right. We have money here. And a fucking a, a little a mule just put his foot right in his chin. Holy cow, I don't think I'm going to make it. <laughs> oh. Poor Phil Rizzuto. Sure. He was a good announcer. What, too man. soon? <laughs> Two <laughs> seconds? He was walking out the front door and, and fate said, stop right there. And he grabbed his chest. <laughs> and stopped. <laughs> That's right. Fell face first. Oh, uh, I hope Cora was watching, too. Yeah. His wife that he always talked about, his stupid old man glasses fell off. <laughs> the scooter can eat my ass. The scooter. the scooter. I used to love the scooter. Yeah. Yeah. His uh, awful stories. They were great. Yankees would be losing 14 to 1, and he'd be talking about his nephew, and you wanted to slice all their throats. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your fucking doddering mouth. We're getting killed. <laughs> he would sneak out to beat traffic. Of course he Those would. Those stories came out. Oh, yeah, he didn't want to get stuck in that Yankee Stadium traffic. So he'd so sneak out. He of would the... sneak out like uh, wow. with an out or two to go. 
Frank Messer well, had to change his diapers. He was lying. He didn't have to get out of traffic. Bill White and Frank Messer, he would smell like shit. He would duty in his pants. <laughs> they'd be like, could you get this fucking, this fucking crypt keeper out of here? Put him on the fucking Van Wick and then shit his pants in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Bill White was, he was good, too. I love Bill White. I and, love and Mercer. Uh, well, Mer Bobby Mercer was after, but uh, Bill White. But he was a good Ian. Good one too. When I was Back when I was a day. boy, it was it was it was a fright. It was a uh, Messer, uh, Bill White, and Phil Rizzuto. Yeah, the scooter. They all work together. Yeah, Bobby, <laughs> Bobby, Frank Messer, Bobby Mercer. Oh, oh yeah. okay, okay. Ah, here's a runner-up line of the day. World's oldest woman died. Yeah. And, you know, this happens. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> the world's oldest vagina is in the ground now. <laughs> wow. Basically. I didn't even think of that. Ah, yeah, low way. <laughs> New angle. Oh. That was a very good angle. <laughs> just buried now, just sitting there somewhere, the six old feet vagina. under. Louis C.K., the YouTube star. YouTube. Oh, oh, your your phone. <laughs> Everyone's got such weird. Uh... Here's another runner-up line of the day. Yes. Let's see what Polish videos are beating it right now. <laughs> yeah. Ah, wow. All right, here's the poll. By a person doing the same thing. Uh, the, oh, boy. The, <laughs> that, was, that was great. That was very good. And we're uh, not explaining. Listen to the replay. Here's another runner-up line of the day. He was like the gummo marks of uh, demolition, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> like, not really the top build one. He ones. was the one who had a girlfriend. Re the other yeah. ones were funny. Reference of the day, he right there. He was the curly, curly Joe Besser. <laughs> not even Zeppo. <laughs> no, not, not even, even Zeppo. Zeppo. He, the fucking Zeppo is ruled compared to gummo. Yeah. Hey, we gummo. <laughs> I like how they just end. We're all staring at our phones. <laughs> Maybe we should. Everybody's checking PDAs. It's like the clip is playing, and we're just all staring at our various PDAs. phones and PDAs. And it's time to go. Here's it's your our, line of the day. The fuck out of here. Here, here, here. 